Okay, so we're back with some PSO and more Bomberman music. So we're just forming a four-man squad currently. So it seems like Dango, I don't see anybody else asking to hop in, so... I think you are good to go to come in. I'm gonna close some of these things. Murphy's coming in with the force. We got a nice backup soundtrack, as RT does take a while. And as long as we have at least one ranger, we're fine. That's my rule of thumb. It's nice if we have two rangers, one ranger's good. I could, in theory, go get Dark Flow, but honestly, outside of Dragon Boss, I don't think it matters that much. It's I don't have one geared towards A-Beast anyway. My accuracy's terrible with this character before Red Ring. Hugo Seal arguably could use it a lot more. Dragon's pretty easy to hit, once it lifts off in the air, I don't have much to offer. Unless I decide to bring a Rambling Bay or a Kunai with me. You know what? Maybe I will. Just so that we can do something on Dragon Fight. Or even Gal Griffin, I guess. Where's it out? Oh? She doesn't have her own Kunai. Why is that? Thought I gave that to all my hunters already. Well, I have a 25 dark one I guess I could use. I think the one with hit percentage went to the Hugh Seal. But anyway, now I can hit upwards. So yeah, we'll do some RTs, and then I think Chris will hop out in one or two runs, depending on how late he's staying up. Because it is a longer quest. Not after that, anybody is welcome to join in. Murphy's like, I want that XP. 138 and rising. The budding years of the Fomar. <laughs> soon, he will, soon he will grow with experience. Normal, normal, normal kills. Feels so good to be full buffed. I say, I have surprisingly good damage. So it'll probably take me a couple of RTs to level this character. But otherwise, I think all of our goals of the Easter event have already been cleared. This is just kind of like the cherry on top that this character gets XP. At some point when we're out of event mode, we'll probably do more episode 4. I do enjoy episode 4. Potentially even later today, maybe, depending on what the chat wants. RBR episode 4 was a lot of fun. I think that allows for more varieties of players. Because not every character can handle a boss rush with a cast and a force. Sometimes the third and fourth party member don't matter as much for damage. Doing like freeze trap spam and debuffs. RT can be a little demanding at times. Not having cannon rouge is painful. Goodbye, Hildelts. I'm gonna leave the rat beast to the forest. My Razond is good, but not as good as that. Always good for those egg checks. Speaking of which, do you think we'll get the egg rappy today? We've had pretty good luck with them, surprisingly. That one run instantly? That was interesting.
to. We have fingers crossed to get Dango's PSG today. Otherwise, we'll have to do a couple during Rare Week. One day he will receive it. Chris is yet to see Egg Rappy. Yeah, unfortunately, I think you missed the last few on stream. We blew our luck on the Gurren. Exclamation mark egg, yeah. Yeah, the Gurren was really good, though. I'm not even seen a... Sh I had like a 15 hit Shuren or something like that. I think that ended up on a Jizai. But I, I never got one that was like at least 30. Or Crimson Assassins. Perish. I was gonna say, we're the ATP hit squad. Oof. When they get gel in, they can't even injure this character. Her defense isn't even that great. It's very average. Ooh, Doshi. This is se semi-tanky due to the units on it, but that's about it. It's nice that episode 2 finally gave us something of interest. Aside from, like, the usual suspects in RT. Oh. I'm gonna debuff it. Yeah, the debuff there makes the Cannon Rouge do so much damage. But I don't think we popped the shell, which is a shame. Yeah, I mean, if it's your, if it's when you're recording, it makes sense. But if that's what happened when you were playing PSO, that's very weird. Recording makes sense to me because OBS and Windows don't have a happy relationship with each other. I think I'm gonna have to Jaya it a lot to make up for the damage. To buy my money. Oh, oh. Hope you saw that Jaya damage, chat. Hope you didn't blink. Deleted that boss. Get out of here. It made me unleash my true power. Windows doesn't have a very good relationship with Windows. That's true. Ooh, I don't like my angle. Not feeling that. Let's try this again. Ooh, I'm not liking it again. It's a little better. There we go, that's much better. The lining up Olympics is real, chat. Tell everybody in PSO, tell them, you, tell them you've won the gold medal. Line up Olympics. Oh, I think I got it. I think I'm dead center. Oh no, I'm angled! Oh, the angle! Okay, I still qualify, but the angle was wrong. I did not get dead center, that's so sad. Yeah, I'll throw Kunai at the dragon just to get some damage, I guess. Yeah, Kasami Bracer buffing her ATP makes a lot of sense. She does feel like just slightly too weak. Nice fully. I 
Like, all of us are awkwardly waiting for the door to open. Someone has found a Heaven Striker with how much hit? 20 hit? Nice. and simple. Having a leisurely stroll towards Dragon. Ooh, I'm regenning TP. Ooh. I get to use maybe a single rest of more. Ooh. Oh, no invincibility. Unfortunate. So I'm going to switch to Charge Vulcan once I get close. Since being able to burst it is kind of important here. But, uh, yeah, I can't get close. I'm the only one without invincibility. Now we'll take a couple shots. Ooh, we did extra damage to the boss there. That's good. Perfect. So normally if it was up like that, I would actually throw a couple kunai. So that way it can actually do something when it's up there. It's a little inconsistent to throw, like, or shoot, like, pistol bullets. It can hit it. This kunai is more likely to land. Even if it's not big damage, sometimes you just need to do like a thousand or less. So eventually hitting it for like 160 a hit will kill it. Yeah, we want to make sure all the weapon boxes are checked. It looks like team has done so. I do like that even though this is a new area, the boxes that are opened here do actually drop items for me. No worries, Dango. Yeah, we, we went we been back to or we went to the average for Parasite Gene Flow after not seeing it for like 20-ish attempts. And now it's Risa. So somewhere in the next, hopefully. Sixteen attempts? We should see one. I didn't think about that for a second. Ooh, a Ven egg. I want that. Or if he's just giving it a quick be good. Or at least, like, no. Perish. Alright, so I'm still at 60 meter, which is pretty good. I want to be around 68 when I clear this area. So I'm competing with the double me good, which will be interesting. here. There we go. I'm at 64 already. That's not too bad. Plus I'm going to do the other check at some point. Do the Hell Cleave check, which should maybe net a V501. I'd be very... You know what? If we don't get Parasite Gene Flow, but we get V501s, I'd be happy about that. Welcome back, Dango. Jaya. Hopefully it came with some hit. Like, this area is definitely more interesting for blue ID, since there's actually real items I can drop here. Is that a 55-hit ray gun with no special? PSO, please. All right, chat, that's a PSO, please moment. Where, Where's the special on that? It actually rolled high. Like, it would have identified to 65. That is so sad. PSO, come on. Couldn't give it charge, drain... Berserk, Spirit. There's a lot of specials I would have accepted on that. It would have been fine. Even the elemental ones. Maybe I could have tested elemental glitch with it. So sad. Oh, that Rebarta freeze. Oh, that was so good. It was like I it's like I used freeze trap there. 
That is so... Sh oh, it would have had 40 dark, too? Oh my gosh, that would have been so good. Come on, let's get rid of these. Yeah, because then I can maybe do the elemental glitch if it's like above... 50 hit is like not consistent enough on the characters I'd want to use it on. Connection's going wonky, probably reset my router. For sure. Alright, so we're, we're at 73. We're way above where we need to be. That's before Gal Griffin even potentially hitting us. Yeah, normal, normal, normal killing is hilarious, because that saves a lot of time. So yeah, we're gonna get some lore. 55 hit ray gun, no special. Come on. Okay, so... Murfield debuff. I'll just throw kunai for bonus damage. I, it's better than just not hitting it at all, I guess. Probably won't matter, but I'll still do it. So kunai. I think I hit it for... a little bit there. I missed the first shot, sadly, though. Ow, tornado, no. Alright, uh, so I do 239 per normal. Will you stop tornado in me? Jeez. Game f oh, boy. Alright, I'm just switching to Vulcan. That is one of the most unlucky camera angles I have ever seen. It put that thing in the ground, and it just went nope to me. Please don't land into me. I feel like killing with Kunai. Almost killed it with Kunai. <laughs> the camera angle upwards into the lightning bolt into the tornado was super rude. Rip that 55 hit handgun though. It had so much potential. I think that's just armor, right? Oh no, that is weapons. Fifty-five hit laser. What is going on? Did someone drop that, or is that also me? That's really insulting if that was me. Seriously, I'm so disappointed in you, PSO. That would have been like the biggest upgrade ever. Can you imagine? Sixty-five hit demon charge. That's just like probably the worst thing it could have been, and still been acceptable. Let's close the Bomberman Max soundtrack. Go to the next game. Please play. So disappointing, chat. 255 hits in one run, no special. Absolutely brutal. I know. I'm glad you're here to see it, Hellcleave. That's what we call the Heartbreaker. <laughs> And one of them would have had 40 dark. Can you imagine, like, the 40 dark charge ray gun with 65 hit? How sick that would have been. Reason to keep a wall of shame. I almost feel like clipping it later. Just going back and just getting a little, like, literal photo clip versus, like, clipping in Twitch. That so way you could see the disappointment in one run. Hope you're doing well, Hulk Leave. Nice, I just got PB. More bad luck than good luck. We gotta fix that. Channel Toriel, get your Gurren with it. <laughs> Channel Believe, we were shown how to do it. Play quest, get item, it's easy. My bad. Deal with those, kill this one. Forty hit caliber with 80 mech, oof. That that one's brutal. Can you imagine if that 80 was in the hit? I'll cleave would hunt you down.
What, you think I didn't know you were there, Mr. Robot? What does it feel like to find items with it? I feel like Chris is like the embodiment of that, uh... I don't usually do memes, but like the, the meme of the, like the, oh, I only got this. So the person's like, you got this? <laughs> then they just go down the line. And then eventually he's like, you got something? I feel like Chris is the fourth image. <laughs> Poor Chris. We'll get him there. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I forgot what button Mike Foey was. That was awkward. It's not the normal button in my defense. Still Gafoid in time somehow though, despite me going like, wait, what number is that? <laughs> my brain was not computing. Big oof to that double 55 hit though. It's certainly a meme run. Feels like it. I did the hell cleave check and I wasn't rewarded. It's so sad. I was only rewarded with more trolling. Hell cleave is like, yep, that's a hell cleave run. Getting trolled. Especially by boxes. It's like, you shall know pain. <laughs> Bear witness to my box runs. I feel like at this point, it's gonna give me like a, a ripper with like 70 hit and like 80 dark. <laughs> and I feel like that would be like the most spiteful role imaginable. <laughs> like, what a, like, come on. Like it just, it just rolled everything right but the weapon type. Why you have to find runs at worst case to get something out of it. Yeah, that's a big reason why I'm not excited to hit level 200, because now it's going to be like, okay, let's say that let's say that I don't get an item. If I don't then also get experience, isn't that a waste of a run? I'd rather at least train up other characters that are good. They don't have to be like all 190 gods, but you know, if they're able to wear a red ring, that's kind of huge in terms of clear speed. Okay, let's check these boxes. I'm prepared to roll my eyes again if we get another 55 hit. I saw the text move down for a moment. I was like, come on. Oops. I'll let team deal with the Sinos. I'm good. I'm having fun popping boxes. Heard the chop chop sound. They got dangoed. The wild dangoed. Oh, I got stuck on the corner. Ooh, slightly too far. That would have hit from the sniper distance, but I was like... Yeah, I've been at 100 for a while. We're good. Goodbye, Ancient Saber. I think we're good. We don't need to have full mag blast. As long as three people got it, I think we're good. So I'm gonna say using twins. I think the rest of the team has this. There we go, the double donate is powerful. Sadly, I don't have Heaven Striker. I recommend if Chris has Heaven Striker to just do three Heaven Striker specials and immediately swap to like Charge Vulcan or whatever. It's, it's literally free damage. So just be ready, just swap to something at the top. Like most of the time my Charge Vulcan is at the top. For me, it doesn't bother me as much. But yeah. Like you don't like don't even wait. As as soon as as soon as the cutscene ends, just special, special, special. And then if Charge Vulcan's at the top of your list, just swap to it real quick, and that should kill the boss. Because you'll be surprised. Like, we saw we could squeeze out, like, 2,000 extra damage, which is kind of huge. Because a lot of times we miss it by less than 3k. 
so we'll see how well we do here. Oh. Felt like somebody missed their attacks. That damage was very low for a buff like that. I don't think it was me. Anyway, GG. I have to do with the killer wireless driver, it's the only thing that sticks out to me. Hmm. Not sure. Back to charge Vulcans. Probably me. Maybe. Horses do like no damage to Olga Flow, and if you don't have a gun, kinda GG for damage. Thank you, Charge Vulcan. Barely squeezed by on that one. <laughs> Love the slow mo fall. It's like another Bomberman game where we wait. Do Bomberman engage? I barely recall that thing being a thing. No, not gameplay. Do you see that lack of me looking forward, chat? Do you like how I'm just not touching anything? I knew deep in my heart. For me, it's some item I don't care about. <laughs> That's commitment, chat. I'm like, nah, it's all good. I can't find the 2006 games here. There's Bomberman for the PC Engine, so I guess I'll count that as a new one. There's Bomberman Story DS, which I guess would be new. Okay. I had no faith in RT there, chat. I was like, nah, I don't feel it. Hopefully you're doing well, Hulk Leave. Make of interest. Shameful laser ray gun combo. Sort our inventory. Thank you for playing, Chris. I'm getting ready to photo it. Let's see. There we go. Go on the wall of shame. Enjoy the, enjoy the pain posts on the Discord. Awful. Oh, I didn't even hand it in properly. You know what? It's fine. I don't even need the money. We're good. I went money positive. That's all that matters. Thank you for playing, Chris. I think we'll continue to do some RTs if anybody wants to take Chris's place. Speak now. We'll probably have a delayed start to Phoenix, if I had to guess. Since I'll probably be gaming... Probably until it goes down. Run for Dango. Hopefully, he was offering to jump in. 
Do we have Hellcleave, Murphy, and Dango? Then after that, if somebody would like to take Dango's place, you're more than welcome to join in. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the eggs that we've been collecting. I could, in theory, force it to be 99 by just doing RBR, but I think I'm good. I'm not even sure how, if I'll end up spending any. Welcome, Marco. Hope you're doing well. How's the grind going? Uh, Toriel got a Gurren earlier with a 20... no, 35 total hit. So I gave him a Shuren so that he could combine the two to make a 35 hit Jazai. So that does a ton of damage, so he got a big damage spike today. Otherwise it's been kind of quiet in terms of rares. I don't think we've seen a lot of even ult rares for the most part. We played through a very regrettable print of rule surge number 5 though. That was a choice that they made to do, I guess, to make that quest. But I think after this, uh, Dango was looking to hop out, so if you'd like to play some RT with us, Marco, we'll be doing that for probably a couple hours. Yeah, I'm hoping at some point, either just random V501 or Jaya with good hit, or... I mean, ideally Parasite Gene Flow. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread that Murphy... I, I thought Murphy said be right back. I didn't see in the general chat. You're right. He says he's gonna skip a game or two. So Marco, actually, you're more than welcome to hop in now. My bad. I misread the in-game comment earlier. Otherwise, we'll wait about a minute or so to see if we have a fourth player. Up oh, there's Marco. That answered that question. <laughs> Ooh, Team Blue. Everybody got the memo today, apparently. Oops, all blue. I know Blue Donna's confused by this revelation. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna be the party force. use it. On a grinder. Uh, I'll leave that be. Oh my gosh, I almost killed with tech damage as the Hunu roll. surprisingly have not seen that many rare enemies across the many games between yesterday and today. Like, we saw rare Rappy, but, like, we never saw, like, 
Killed the tour in bundles. Didn't really see any rare lilies. Mostly just rare rappy for some reason. Nothing of interest drop from them, sadly. Tango's going back though. Must have been a material. <laughs> I was just thinking how ridiculous the banners would be if they ever accidentally made it so like luck material popped up in the banner. <laughs> Just, it's just infinitely, just infinite banners. <laughs> it just never stops. Zap. Eh, whatever, I'll face tank. I'll trigger this trap on purpose. It's funny. God, one for Dango killed the rest. Ooh, a little shine damage, which is normal, normal, normal. Got spoiled by shift to level 30. On the plus side, if I'm acting as the force, I don't really hit enemies anyway. By enemies, I mean the bosses. So, it's probably for the best at a distance for me to debuff. Congrats on the photon draw. Hmm. Got you tarred that time. Okay, so do a little bit of damage. Now I'm gonna hide in the corner. This just gives me the longest time for the thing to reach me. A little bit. <laughs> Try to sh get a shot here. <laughs> that teleportation is outrageous. This boss makes no sense with what it's doing when you witness it. Everybody's gonna group up, give it the group hug. I'm gonna give it a good old giant to the face. Let's we'll see how it likes it. Ooh, we're lacking a lot of damage there. Or what happened? Anyway, now it's dead. It's very rare I have to triple Jaya. Oh, we gotta get Marco a uh, Cannon Rouge. That's what it is. I was like, hmm. Because when I hit it, I didn't even do damage to it because the shells didn't pop. Cannon Rouge is love, Cannon Rouge is life. A good angle. Uh, this might do. You know, if they make another PSO with better, I'm gonna i I'm gonna say they probably didn't. I'm gonna break your heart now, Dango. Surely that will happen? Oh, okay. Ooh, I barely qualified. I'm gonna put myself in last place. I was the most to the side on that lineup Olympic.
can kunai that, right? Or maybe I can... Maybe the third hit can go through the wall? Hmm. I'm gonna try something then. Will this work? Hmm. The answer appears to be yes. Interesting. So some of those I do appear to be able to hit with kunai, even without a bazooka. I knew it could go upwards, so the ones that are like really close, but I was surprised that one worked. Hmm. I'm gonna go for it again here. Oh, won't be able to check. Guess I could try to three hit combo. See if that has like a special property to make it easier or something. So before team's able to kill a dub chick, I can test it real quick. If I stand like here and do this. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I have an added reason to bring kunai. <laughs> I thought it could hit some, but not all, but it looked like it hit every switch in this level, which is all it needs to do. You know, just one single kunai went, nope. That's pretty useful. It's like an okay episode 4 tool, and then it's good at dealing with those stupid dub switches in certain quests. Other disappointing weapon caches that are gonna be. Eh, that one's okay. Oh, you would have... <laughs> not sure if you caught it the other day, Helpley. We were trying to determine the optimal number of people to use Hell in Episode 2 RT. I think you would have appreciated it. <laughs> the answer is one, if you're curious. At least we did not see the benefit of having two people with Hell. We're kind of laughing about it. So we, we did the same run with the same group of people. It was one of those things where like it we yes, we technically reached the boss faster, but none of us had PB because too much hell was being used. <laughs> so we got there at like literally 19 minutes flat and we didn't go to like 20 40 something into the boss fight. And I'm like, was that really worth having hell? Like it did make this room faster, but like I don't know. So I guess the way it works is as long as at least two people are able to build PB, it's fine. But with too much hell, it's just not possible, which I thought was funny. Oh, where's Dango? Yeah, we're, I was almost debating if it was faster to try the boss with no buffs. So that was definitely a long wait. So my goal here is to get to 68. I think that's my general rule of thumb. If, if I can get to 68 as a hunter, 
with the, the same exact character I've been playing, I will have Mag Blast without needing to do anything extra. So like I could be a little under and it's not the end of the world. But that's like my personal goal. Definitely the mech guns help a lot. This is kind of funny. If we kill steel from like the weaker players too much, then they don't build any P PB. So we're just like people that are not physically like level 180, 190 will end up potentially building it faster than us due to how PB works. But if we hell everything away, then nobody builds meter. I'm at 65. That's not too bad. Hell cleave doing the hell cleave jack. But generally, every enemy is about a PB. Maybe a little more, depending on how you crit. So, like, I'm a little under where I want to be, for example. But I still got some opportunities to get two kills. There we go. Just landed 68. Oh, Marco needs to take an extended break. Hmm. Don't mind me. Guess I can fix Synchro while I'm here. And my Synchro is so terrible. At least it's at 40 now. Slowly but surely climbing back up through the ranks. Peridot has found red rank. Nice. I guess what is the common courtesy if somebody's gonna be gone for quite some time in like an RT? Do we just do the boss? Does not really happen very often. Not in RT. Sadly, yeah, otherwise they should have went into the boss room at least. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Kind of unfortunate. I guess the market is ready. Give me one moment. Yeah, because I mean, it's like such a focused run. It's one thing if we're just like messing around at like Penumbral Surge or something, but... How did that not debuff? What? Did they get past me? I definitely cast it. Okay, there we go. Wow, literally flying out of my melee distance. We just fling kunai at you, come on. It only hurt a little bit, it's not even gonna damage you that badly. I think I hit it for like 300 there. I guess that works. Dude, you should be landing soon. Yeah, I mean, like, that did like 600 damage. Uh, Vulcans? Any reason you didn't want to... Uh, I think I got trolled a little bit there. Vulcans just decided, you know what? You swap weapons, no bullets for you. My guns were up, nothing was home. So sad. Get rid of these. Keep up the team. Thirty, thirty, the caliber, no hit. Oh, I don't even have those show up in the item reader. I don't even know why you would ever torture yourself with those. I'm like, I filter it. If it doesn't have at least 40 hit, I don't care. Unless it's like an uber, then that's, or it's like a rare item, then it still shows. 
But otherwise, I'm like, I filter that immediately. Yeah, it would make sense in box runs when you're just looking to find the armors. For memes. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That's fair. Welcome back, Marco. Nicely done. So I'm at 81 meter, now I'm at 84 meter. Not bad. I got some time to rebuild some meter. Six is not too bad. So you need to basically find maybe three boxes, and I'll basically be at the point I don't need to charge meter at all. Some books. I feel like for the most part Hellcleave was using Hell, so it didn't matter as much. Perfect, found another meter. If Del Meter hits me, that's like four meter easy. So I'm gonna wait a little bit to sync up with the team, otherwise they'll get hit by the Del Beater. There we go. Wait a little bit. One, two, three, four. Put out a Gafoe. Put out a second Gafoe. And GG. So I need to get like a little more meter. So killing these recons is worth it for me, for example. Because this is me helping clear the room and also putting me within like only a couple of buzz saws. Team's HP up. So yeah, I just need a bus stall at this point. So this is where I can kind of defer to the team to clear for the most part. So <laughs> for me, it doesn't matter if I switch over to hell or not. If I had hell on this character. We'll leave that clear to hell cleave. I don't believe in the Yunchime drop anymore. And the rest of the team could just build meter on these things. Mine material, tempting to go back for, but we're fine. Okay, so we're going to do the little box check here. I need to basically hit anything once and I have meter. Ideally, I'll get invincibility right as this room is ending. Sadly, did not get invincibility from Mag. Nice photon drop for Dango. Rip, hell cleave. Damn. I got juke by the bus all anyway. I think the problem is the enemy spawned and stopped me from moving. It wasn't that I just stopped running, just unlucky timing. Okay, so I'm about 100 meter.
team is abusing themselves real quick. I'm gonna twins. Yeah, and I think we've come to the conclusion that anybody that actively hells... Oh no! Somebody doubled up. I saw three mag blasts, but two of them must have been the same. Rip. I'm just curious what it was called. Uh, Estella is the dolphin. So you both chose dolphin. Yeah, Pila is the angel. Um, Mylula are the twins. Snake is snake. I, I barely remember what that one is. I have not had it on a mag in eons. Nice. Close. I'm gonna heal the team. Oh boy. I don't know if the team just have been strikers this thing from existence. It's pretty annoying to hit otherwise. Oh, there we go. come towards me slightly so I can be debuff it faster. There we go. Small time loss, but I want to make sure I don't miss this allure. So if I can get there two steps faster, it might make a difference. There we go. Deleted. GG, we're all looking for the item. The blue ID character is looking for the blue ID item. The blue ID team, more or less. Honorary blue members. Escape doll. I mean, I guess? Run. Like one run from leveling, pretty close. So yeah, the fact that this character is already above 170 is way higher than I ever thought she would be this month. Yet still, she will climb further. And then I need to do more red ring runs for Hugh Cast. And then if I feel like it, my Hugh Mar. We'll do a few more of these. Thank you, Dango. Marco will be back in a bit. Hmm. Well, if we don't have a four-man team, we'll be doing some two-man TTF. So we'll, we'll wait a minute if we don't see anybody other than Helkley being available. 
even potentially could do a solo TTF, honestly, while we wait. So we'll gauge the interest. Or if it would be the other one to come back to. That's fair. Okay, so I guess I'll quit out. I'll do some red ID runs. I'll cleave is welcome to support the Hugh Seal. At least our damage is pretty good now. I don't feel like she's like a burden to the run, quote unquote. And I could bring in the Twin Blaze. So I'll probably stream for at least another three hours. I might need a hard break at seven no matter what though, I think. Just to recover between streams. Oakleaf has arrived. Yep, just let us know if anybody's sitting in the wings and would like to hop in. We're just waiting for a full team before committing to anything else. My vice. It's okay, we'll pick up a quick red ring for Hellcleaf. Just casual Lavis Cannon, uh, Heavenly HP, Red Ring, Psycho Wand. All in one run, of course. <laughs> Couple of discas. Yeah, eventually I'll fix this character stats, but honestly, with Red Ring now capping luck, it's nice to actually be at max crit. Granted, I'm still using a Centurion ability and shouldn't have to use that, but oh well. At least I'm at max crit now. Small damage improvements. I'm gonna confuse trap them again on the off chance that they actually focus the target. Be careful how many hits I actually take there. Oh, are we going for the double dark flow plan? Ooh. That'll be exciting. <laughs> Both of us in one touch kill range. That'll be fun. Oops, speaking of which. <laughs> that was a bad time to scratch my nose. I'm so sad they didn't kill the barbell though. I got invincibility, so I should just be able to walk up and bonk the dragon. I do that for safety reasons. I don't want to accidentally regen while I'm waiting out of the HP range. 
Look at this go. Ooh, slightly too early, I think. Just leave the dragon in twain. I want you to know, I was so used to playing characters with text, I just tried pressing my raw foe input. Maybe if I believe really hard, my, my Yukisu could learn that. Okay, let's do some slime dupes. One, two, three. Now health regen doesn't matter so much. I want a little bit of it so I could get by a cave monster in case I don't block properly. But honestly, with the new defense of Red Ring, it might not matter that much. We'll definitely confuse trap though. Crystals cost 10% health, blah, 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 blah. Indeed. I'm not sure what, why that came up, to be honest with you. It's more like I'm regening with Red Ring and also standing still. So I'm very worried about accidentally getting out of the threshold for Dark Flow. That's what I mentioned earlier. I also want to make sure I can survive a bonk from the cave monsters. So now my HP regen doesn't matter. I don't plan on Dark Flowing. Buy slimes. So yeah, I'm at 136, so I think it should deal 136 to myself. I don't think it rounds up. I think that's what we were testing before. Like, when it's a, what is it, 6 8? Does it do 137 or not? I don't think it does. I guess I could always try to pay attention in the future. Nice. Invincibility is also nice. Sadly, I don't have a, a good first weapon for this, but I got Jaya, so we should be fine. Whatever. There we go. I'll spend the money for Hellcle. That's a makeup for earlier. Salute my money. Oh, I just wanted to make note of it. Sure, sure. I wasn't sure if it came up because I was talking about before. I was concerned about my HP thresholds. It's definitely confused. Skill check o'clock time. Shoot you a little more. She got a couple kills now. Nothing of interest. Worth a check, I guess. See, as long as I make sure I'm not too far behind Hellcleave, basically what will happen is that uh, when he goes to check for the Red Sinnoh by going into that small room, I should be able to freeze trap the other one and kill it instantly. As long as I'm not like super far behind him, I get a couple stray kills. So like here I'm a little early. I could have killed a couple of cannabins. Things I want to optimize while uh <laughs> finding how many raw enemies I can kill while waiting. It's always fun. And due to the way I place the freeze trap there, I don't even need to time it. In terms of like shooting it, like I'll be fine. This is gonna be fun. they fired before they froze again. That sucks. Unfortunate. So I actually want to make sure I maintain this health. They actually hit me to a very convenient health total. I just need shift it again, that's all. Hmm. 
Okay. So I should be able to gear assault myself down. So I'm going to Twin Blaze to slow it down. If I see how Cleave doing the Gazan lock, I will probably not interfere with it. Galatine's damage is so high compared to Twin Blaze. But at least I'll try to slow it down a little. There we go. Did not do that properly. That's unfortunate. Ugh. Menuing is a bit off today, sadly. I'd still be able to save this. Or, pff, never mind. It wouldn't have mattered anyway. I still would have needed to dodge that. Seriously? That's actually just really unlucky, and that killed me. That is so unlucky. I failed two 50-50s and I failed two 1 in 4s. Game please. <laughs> Maximum unlucky to get that attack. If it had done anything else, I would have dodged it. So sad. Oh, did the music stop? There we go. Hold on. Oh, we're good. Okay, I should be able to kill these things even without Shifto. Just gotta throw down more confused traps. Although I think that used my escape doll. Yeah, it did, damn. Oh well. So I'm gonna go up here to speed things up. Person with Dark Flow active would be able to do that. I could do some stray hits on that though. So I'm waiting for Hellcleave to kill that. I might as well just kill these. Uh, I guess I could go to Hellcleave. Usually I telepipe out at this point if I go this way, but I guess I could continue. Because we're at least going to get to the Indie Ball Rose. Freeze Trap would be useful, I think. Yeah, that was just super, 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 super unlucky. Because if it did the heal move, obviously it wouldn't damage. If it did the missiles, that's the most delayed attack. It did, like, the only one that would have punished my gear assault swing, which I needed to do because I couldn't do damage to the boss. All snowballing because I had the wrong weapon equipped. Unfortunate. this again. I'm firing. There we go. Do I go for the one in the corner? I think I do. It is risky, though. There we go. It's like, I could do this while, like, tired and hungry, but I can't do the others, though. 
Its menuing just failed horribly. Anyway, big damage time. Bye. I clipped it a little bit, but it could have been better. Uh, I have to go this way to dodge, I think. Game fleas. Oh, okay. It hurt my flea. I'm gonna walk forward. Not good enough. If I go this way, I should dodge. I think I gave myself enough room. And no matter what it did, it wouldn't hit. Alright, so aside from abysmal run to staying alive, I think I'm doing okay on falls. I got Dark Flow, landed last swan, hit spinners. Took a slightly risky side one to shoot, didn't get punished. Because the side ones are usually very protected. The ones in the middle are easy, even when trying not to get hit. So I did go for a trickier one to try to speed it up slightly. I was gonna say, if you're gonna short cycle, now would be the time. Turn thing falls. Don't mind me, just regenning HP. Ooh, there we go. So I could normal heavy heavy to try to maximize damage, which I think I will here if I can. Good. GG. So good falls. Rust is mostly my fault. I think we got through false patterns at least. So if there's anybody that would like to continue with some RTs, we'll be moving to that next. Otherwise, we'll do another TTF if it's only two people. His RT is not really fun with two people. Spoilers. I'd be like, no thanks to that. Hell Disca, no thank you. You twin blazer Vieta wanna be doing another? Mmm. Yeah, I had a feeling you probably didn't have Vieta one, because I saw the robot getting away. It happens. Shoot the boxes. Nothing of interest there. Rip my money. I don't think I need to get more healing. I used like a couple dimates, but that wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's fine. First, report to the principal. He's never happy. There we go. I'll take the 20,000 back though. Welcome, Marco. Yeah, I think once we get a four man, we'll go back to RT. Three man's fine. there. So yeah, we'll do a quick uh, TTF, see if uh, Murphy ends up coming back. And that will probably be the four man that we do. Oh, did the soundtrack actually end? It end. Okay, we'll try this one. I love they called something Bomberman 2 and it's like the 20th in the series. Why would they 
Why would you bother numbering them at that point? <laughs> What's the point? I'm so confused, Chad. Came out for the DS, apparently. Okay, so we got some future stuff loaded up. So yeah, we'll just have to not get stupidly hit in the forest and we should be good. He would reach me. That is so frustrating. Definitely need to eat more food. I feel like my reflexes are very slow right now. Let's see if we can master doing that while playing. at me, please. <laughs> there we go. This... Gonna take the dark flow. Okay. I don't have invincibility, so I'm gonna wait for the team to shoot it. I guess if it doesn't hard focus me, I will try to hit it from the side. Ooh. Oh no, got it, got it. I'll pick it up. For all the humars out there, I suppose. Alright, so my HP should put me out of cave crit range. Just have to kill the slime and I'll kill the bomber if it chases me. Wall frozen. It's brutal. There we go. That was for chat. <laughs> Slightly better. Come on, something good from slimes. Fortunate. Use some stars to fix my synchro here. There we go. Uh, that should be good. better this time. Good. Mm -hmm. Up that 
with the Excalibur user. The Black Health Leave. I think I got a Jai here to make up the damage difference. Yeah. Good call, good call. Giants was definitely worth it there. Getting some greedy kills from Gil Chicks. Oh, that's probably the last kill I can get. Move on. Oh, I like the Ashmanikov. Nice cleanup. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not too, too far from behind Hellcleave. If he doesn't get more than, like, a room ahead of me, even if he kills the Canavan here, for example, I'll be in a good position to freeze. I can even assist him with that kill there, which is kind of nice. And while I'm waiting for them to get into position, I might get a couple stray kills here. Put a fire trap down. So I should be able to reach this before the Red Sinnoh spawns. Perfect. That was, that was about as optimal as I could get it to just do damage in the other room and also clear. It's kind of funny. Ooh, you waited. Okay, we were, we were just going to book it. Right, I'm going to have to do that because I think our team will die if I don't do this. There we go. But I'll leave hit that one. Whatever, that should be good enough. I think you're still my health down to like 800. Should be good enough. Then blaze time. Shall I do one more gear assault? Uh, <laughs> I want to regen health. Oh yeah, Marco does have the spread needle. So we're going to try to slow it down with uh, <clears throat> whatever we have. And then we'll let Marco basically take it over with all normals with Spread Needle. It's very good at stun locking screens. The problem is he's on the wrong side. Yeah. So I'm going to try to slow it as much as I can. There we go, I did that properly that time. That's what I was trying to menu before <laughs> for chat clarity. If I have less than 700 HP, or at least less than at least less than 800, maybe not, might need more than that to be lower, I could just immediately dark flow. And look at that, I wasn't targeted, so I got to actually hit the boss. That was much better luck on Vault Out for sure. Well, time drop from the only box I broke, nice. Um. I'll go pick up the escape doll. So potentially I can either basically one-shot the centaur or hopefully we'll do it. Okay, it looks like I'll do it. So I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. I like to do a little dance around the centaur. And just delete him. That's that's usually what I go for. I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna delay a little here. I need somebody to go to the upper platform, other than me. I want to actually one-shot the sorcerer when it respawns. The crystal blocked it. It's very lucky. Hmm. Kill you real quick. We gotta run. As long as I don't move, I won't get punished. Yeah, I think if I'm able to keep the Dark Blow here, it just saves so much time. Case in point. We'll put down a Telepipe. 
for that happy little clears. Wait, what? How'd Hell Cleave die? Oh, maybe he got hit by the trap and didn't heal or something? Oh, you could just, uh... I was gonna say, you can actually just healing item through that. Oh, it was to skip Ray Manning. That's fair. Yeah, for some reason it doesn't stop you from using items. I I've panic I've panic killed myself with that before. <laughs> so I'm like, I will use that. I'm gonna hit the one on the side. Now we play the very risky game. Finding what hasn't been killed by the team and moving forward. Let's go this way. See one that hasn't been hit by the team. No worries, I'll leave. I just figure for people that get hit by that in the future, they should know. Uh... It's more relevant to Dark Flow users, though, because we're more likely to be at like zero HP. Um, I am in a bad position. I'm hoping that I can correct this slightly. We'll see in a moment. Oh, I'm further over to the right than I thought. Never mind, we're in a good position. I thought I was between the two of them. Never mind, GG, get killed. <laughs> okay, so spinners, I think chat can agree. I look very comfortable with it, even while like not awake. <laughs> it, it has become instilled in me on how to do those. I feel it in every fiber of my being. That didn't actually hit me. Wow, I thought for sure that was gonna hit me. Anyway, GG to Dark Falls. Damage we just still rip help leave. Uh, let's go revive help leave. It's not targeting me. Get a good Zalor here. The boss is gonna take big damage. Ooh, almost one shot it. Marco. You died for the cause. <laughs> oh, I can't damage it. Um, I don't know who it's targeting, but I'm gonna run. Okay, it's not targeting me. Ooh, Marco barely surviving. Joke's on you though, game. I know I've escaped all. I'm getting my XP chat. <laughs> All's dropped mine material. Interesting. How many escape builds I have left? Oh, I have two. Yeah, that's fun. As long as I feed my mag, the fixed synchro, it should be good. The fact that it's at 116, I think is fine. So we'll go back to the shop, stock up, run it again. This allure. Unless I want to run. Probably not.
Yeah, Spread Needle is so useful versus Vault Op. The Stun Lock saves so much time. Let's restock on Telepipes. 50 hit. Oh, 50 hit arms with no special. Mm. Chat. Mm 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 mm. Shake your head on that one. Disappointing. Goodbye, my material. So if there's anybody that wants to hop in for the fourth man, let us know. You're more than welcome. <laughs> All the game over sound effects we're listening to. Well, I guess that was Bomberman on the PC Engine. Rip Bomberman on the PC Engine. We'll close this one. Eat this. The Bomberman story, Bomberman 2, which is like the 15th game in the series, which is really confusing. And I guess just Bomberman Blitz. So we're almost done with the spin-offs. Then I could go to, I guess, the Super Bomberman, which I, I guess are technically different series. learning the Deep Bomberman lore. We still have to question ourselves whether the bomb elements were good or evil. I'm gonna use Vice a little less and then Gearsol the other one later. Maybe that's the better call. I definitely think this is the right call. I just, I might need to just do one press of this. Yeah, that's probably better. Weaken these up a little more. That's fine. Take the hit on purpose. Maybe get a free kill here? Shame the other Bartles were like just so close to dying. Not quite there. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and freeze drop that. I'm like, nah. I don't really want to deal with that. See, so yeah, I think I could have been slightly greedier. I could have done a uh, confuse trap into a fire trap. That actually would have resulted in at least two kills. Very minimal additional time investment. So, small mistakes in terms of damage, but Confuse Trap can be kind of random depending on who they focus. So, it'd be kind of hard to make that snap call. Whether it's worth that extra second or so for Fire Trap. But I think in that scenario it would have been, since I waited for Bartle anyway. Excuse me. Ooh, that damage, though. Goodbye, dragon. Slap. <laughs> Dark Flow is a very fair weapon, chat. We one-shot the boss, they one-shot us. It's fair and balanced. Actually, that's a star atomizer. I have to go back for that. So yeah, it's kind of nice. I like that red ID does the slime duping. It makes me happy. It's just like such a stupid thing to do, but it's like, it does result in more overall kills, which is important for anniversary quests and stuff like that. So I'm not, I mean, I'm losing a tiny bit of time, but at the same time, 
If I'm not the one that has to go do that, there's not really a time loss per se. Good freeze trap. Poor Vulgaris. Hit it against each other with no HP. Guilty Light. The shame that's in the other room. One, two, three. Let's see if we get a rare slime for Lava's Cannon chances. Come on, drop right up. At least give us, like, materials. In theory, the slimes, because we kill so many of them, should drop stuff of interest, but, uh... Yeah, they're kind of bad. See, it just lines up so perfectly, like, the timing you have to wait. Invincibility, so I'm just gonna run until I touch the far side of the raft to dodge the laser. Right, I'm gonna hold on to the rest of my money, but I think I did enough damage there. Thank you, John. Use three Jaya's there, to speed it up a little bit, because none of us really had invincibility. It's kind of interesting. Not quite as ominous as the music makes it sound, but uh, it was unfortunate. Yeah, if we can get these guys to wound each other more, Marco's more than welcome to kill some of these. I'm just waiting for Hellcleave to kill Sinnoh Red, then I move on. Now it's time to run. I think that was good timing. And yeah, we're not too far from Hellcleave, so between Yashminikov and Pistol, I might still be able to assist him with this clear. I'm trying to hit the one that's flying. There we go. And I might as well kill a couple of these. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Your internet was being evil. Sorry to hear that. Might be a slightly slow freeze trap. That's fine. Got the job done in the end. Damn, they were going in on the chat. I'm gonna put a freeze trap down. I think we have enough DPS to just blitz these, honestly. As long as two of us focus, they die really quickly. Yeah, case in point. Just help leave some time to kill those, so then I can maybe hit this one from here. Ooh, nice shot through them, I like that. Right before they became targetable, they got murdered. When blaze time. Oh, I gotta lower my HP. One, two... You can heal if you need to, help leave. Yeah, I'd like to have at least 600 health because sometimes you'll get clipped by stupid stuff from the turret. If you get focused on the freeze portion of it, then it usually kills you anyway. So I just have like the bare minimum needed to survive some of the other hits, like 500 for lightning or whatever. Soul, dear soul, dark flow. By that time, my health was even lower, so I had more time to do that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Kind of do like the handoff with the twin blaze. It's kind of nice. Oh, I'm going in. <laughs> it 
See that? I can break the cage by killing the boss. <laughs> that, that's how I'm gonna open that cage. I will take that money. Okay, so we're gonna do same strategy as before. So basically, as long as we have a little bit of a buff, we freeze trap and we circle behind the enemy. By the time he rotates, he dies. So ch chip him out a little and actually kill him. If I'm very close, I can one-shot him, but it's fine if not. Ooh, you moved before you were supposed to. You moved so much earlier than you were supposed to. We're gonna get rid of the Arlen. Yeah, just be careful about killing all the Arlens, though, because if you summon a group of them, I'll probably die. Uh, Okay. <laughs> You're on your own on that one. I like to confuse trap there if I'm able. That's not good. I'm not going to be ready for the Indie Bell row, I think. Kind of um. That's probably the scariest part of the run, when you this time the Indie Bell Rose. So many bad things can happen to you so fast. That's fine. We'll put down a happy little telepipe for help leave. Damn, Hulkley with the exactly 3 HP. He's not messing around. I'm glad things are working again, Murphy. Might switch over to RT after this. Ooh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead? Wow, okay. We'll take that. <laughs> I pressed the normal button when I was just trying to menu. I definitely should have died from that. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh, aggressive spinners. Please stop. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, let's get closer to the boss. I'm worried I'm too far forward. close. Okay, good. Team hit the other side. <laughs> like, don't make me cross over. So I don't mind fighting on the left side of the boss, as long as I'm not, like, literally there, or if I'm on this side, this is fine. This is fine. Plus a little bit of DPS. It's not too bad. They can kill it right here, I think. Almost. There we go. So I'm in an okay position to hit the boss one more time. Again, it just depends what direction it goes, how fast it goes. I just try to guess that it's going to go fast past me, and sometimes it works. Or sometimes it does that and dodges completely. Uh... <laughs> I was like, I think I'll survive. That's what I was thinking. I was doing math in my head. Glad I went for it though. Thank you, Red Ring. Yeah, downside I no longer get knocked down due to Red Ring. Wide open. Thank you, Flaco. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, one attack short. Short. That means I took a little bit too long to shoot. I can get five complete combos there. Or five hits, I mean. GG. That was nice. Much smoother. I think the boss dropped money for me. Yeah, 
Yes. Yes, it did. Oh, well. I'm happy with that. We, we brought it down from, like, the 14-minute travesty of me messing up with, uh, simple abilities down to 12 minutes, 22 seconds. So, we have to see that improvement before we swap out. I'm gonna go ahead and hand this in. Then, I guess I'll host uh, RT with Blue ID again. So yeah, at this point, there's only like a handful of quote-unquote important red rings for me to get. The others are nice-to-haves or if extremely bored, <laughs> like the humor. But otherwise, it's like my main four on the first character bank almost have one. Two of my major forces have them. And uh, yeah, we got one of the alt characters with them as well, Viridia. And also the wrong cast. So quite a few red rings. Now we just need to get a parasitic gene flow for Dango. This thing is so stubborn. There's Murphy in the lobby. It just refuses to draw. But one day we'll give it to uh, Dango. <laughs> we'll be like, Dango, this one's for you, and point at it. 38 TP until Exhale, oof. Is that with the power mag? I imagine it has to be at least partially power mag, but it could be like a ma uh, like full sat mag. Oh, using the min max makes sense. I was gonna say for episode two, I just literally equip my 145 power, <laughs> like 55 ATA equivalencies. Oh, yeah, I mean, you just equip the power mag. It's not like you're ever gonna do spell damage in episode two. Let's be real. That's what I ended up doing on the Fomarl. What a beautiful thing it was to just ignore MST. You're like, oh no, I have 900 MST. Oh well, I guess I'll hit you with my 1000 ATP. Perish. <laughs> or excuse me, 875 or whatever it is on Fomarl. There we go, Murphy's slowly going up in levels. I do feel like Fomar was one of those characters where he wasn't the worst to level, but man, did I find it painful trying to get to, like, that magic number of accuracy, but also making sure he had all the items he needed to hit an ultimate. Just, mmm. He's one of those characters where I don't think I enjoyed him at all until literally Red Ring. <laughs> And his accuracy was so bad. I was like, man, I just want to play him in multiplayer, and he can't hit anything with 50 hits. He's just like barely average accuracy with it. It's so painful. This will be kind of nice once he gets Excalibur. Nice photon draw. It's one hundred percent just me being lazy. Yeah, I always put, like, uh, power mags to spare in my bank. Sometimes for newer players, but honestly, a lot of the times when I'm just playing Force and I'm like, we do an episode two. <laughs> I'm like, I could wear my min-max one. Oh, there we go. There's my level up. Where's our accuracy? Come on, game. She is the worst growth. You can't tell me otherwise. She gets, like, an accuracy every seven levels. It's atrocious.
Wh whoever coded her stat growth definitely did not like this character. Just, true facts. It's, it's so bad. Like this character literally is like at Centurion, Adips. They have like everything possible. That's still they whiff. Also, I'm so sad that they I, I really wonder where they came up with some of the max stats for the character. Like why is 199 the max accuracy? Couldn't they have just made it 200? You know what I mean, Chad? Like, what what happened to ending in like even numbers or zeros? <laughs> Maybe a five would make sense in some scenarios. Like, I'm I'm really curious what science led them to this, because they also have slightly different stat growths depending on where they are in the character levels. Unfortunately for Hunoral, it's quote unquote bad every level. Humars is 200. Oh, that's funny. They could have made him 202. She could have been 200. <laughs> that one accuracy matters. Ramar will just have a flat 300 for no reason. requirement is that nothing be equal yeah definitely feels that way with how random the numbers are the horrible mismatch of odds and evens and sometimes the numbers don't make sense for the character if you consider the overall growth sometimes they just break the curve for no reason chat getting bodied by the skewers there we go Oh, I got one stray hit on Barbara right there. Ooh. Ooh, the game the game had like a heart attack there. What happened? That was weird. I'm not sure if that came across on the stream. Like the game just straight up stopped moving. Oh, did it break my monster reader? Oh, it broke my monster reader, that's why. Cute. Rip monster reader. Pour one out, Chad. I gotta restart the game now. <laughs> I was like, what just happened? I'm like, oh. Never mind, I know exactly what happened. Well, I hope I remember all my accuracies. You can reset it in the backtick menu. I don't think I've ever seen that work when it does that, but I can try it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I don't want to do... Oh, you mean that one. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Yeah, if I manually moved anything, it'll slide it around. I think I got a good alignment there. I'm winning the lineup Olympics, I think. Oh, damn! Wait, how healthy did get such a big head start on me? I was holding forward. What? <laughs> did the game lag? How did he get that much distance on me? That was actually insane. How close cheating? <laughs> he had like a seven, a 7 to 9 footstep head start on me. He jumped the starting gun, Chad. It's not fair. I can't compete with that. Cleave is too strong. Some long robot legs, maybe.
I was gonna say, I believe in you, team. It's not targetable. No sound. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have another use for Kunai. the hell. I just watched this HP go to zero. Yeah, there we go. Nice and simple. I think I can triple special here without missing that outfit. Good call. Oh, man, that is just brutal. 40 hit ray gun, no special. gonna say can we petition them to buff uh, the drop rates of some of these specials oh right I have to normal 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 I don't remember it's not the uh, Hugh Casil Hugh Casil could land this she cannot not without red ring so I'm kind of far behind when it comes to meter sadly So the worst I can be is probably like 60 leaving here, so we'll try to make up some of it here. At worst I have to get hit in the face with a bustle once or twice or purposely take two Sinnoh strikes. This isn't like the worst thing ever. Okay, we're recouping that uh, difference pretty quickly. Getting hit there actually helps. Excellent, so I have all the meter I need already. Go towards the middle where the Marilla should be, because that's like one of the only ways I remember. Everything else is a blur as to where I should be standing. So yeah, 68 meter at this point is huge. I guess I can help with the quadra. Actually, I forgot you spawned over here. Take care of you. Now I'm gonna go line up with one of the other spawns. So if I do this and then turn around, one right here. That's exactly what I wanted. Nice, so I'm at a whopping 72. So I'm now very far ahead of where I need to be. Helkleaf sighing. What happened, Helkleaf? Car 
are you lost? That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, excellent meter gain. Five hit Berserk Caliber. Aw. I already heard that help leave. Damn, I'm at 82. Damn, I must be killing a lot of these. Normally, I don't get the chance to do so. That's crazy, actually. I think this is the most meter I've ever had pre Griffin. I think my other previous was like 72, which was still pretty high. But 85 is pretty crazy. Well, I don't need to do anything special for the rest of the run, at least. Don't believe we'll one, one day find the infamous 90, 90 untecked caliber in both hit dark and uh, a beast. It'll just roll like that. Okay, hit once. Uh, of course it goes out of range. Take that hit. time it lands, it's probably better to just Vulcan. Should be landing just about now. I'm gonna disagree with it hitting me there. I was so far from it, chat. I'm gonna shake my head. I wasn't even getting closer. I was actually moving around it. So sad. Level up, nice. Level 29 gets on. Uh, it's okay, I guess. But yeah, at this point, if I was a hell user, I would just switch to full time hell. I built my meter. Time to speed it up. Nice, got my friend wing. Very ominous of the soundtrack. So I guess to speed things up, I could just use Charge Vulcan as intended. <sighs> Wasn't sure if it fell or not, because my Vulcan didn't reorient towards the enemy if it did. Oh, I got the freeze, GG. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, chat. When you don't have hell and you just see that, that Morphos, I'm like, I don't think so. I'm just gonna walk by you, don't mind me. Just farming some kills. It is not my forte for clear. That was definitely just one of those moments where I saw it and was like, no. No. Nice try though, I guess. It, it almost blocked me, I guess. Check and set up on the main enemy. 
I'm not gonna bother hitting the invisible target because it's so annoying to time if I don't see the monster reader. I'm just gonna have fun murdering. I wish that twin brand was the twin blaze. I'd be so happy. If only they did the same thing. Okay, I feel pretty proud about that. Felt the timing in my heart for the Del Beater. Again, this is more of a we'll let hell cleave and me get solved that kind of thing. But like, nah, we could go box check. We're good. <laughs> I mean, on the plus side, if all I'm doing is using charge, I pop these pretty quickly. Let's do this to hit him. Okay. So if I go over here, I should dodge the other one. Come on, I already got hit. GG to Sinozoa. I killed two boxes. Helped a little bit with that one. I'm gonna keep moving forward, because I feel like by the time I turn around, it'll die. About what I thought. We're gonna say no to those morphos, let the team deal with that. You're gonna hear me say that a lot when I don't bring a Hell Handgun. I'll be like, ah, they got it. I'm not really gonna compete with a Hell Needle or Hell Shotgun or whatever's being used over there. No point. Somebody's supposed to do something useful, like uh, checking these boxes. Speeding up the Sinnoh timer so that way Chuck can just murder it quicker. Ooh, nothing of interest dropped there. That's a shame. I feel like I'm about to get hit in the face. I actually froze both of those? Wow. Well, that was really lucky, actually. There's a couple of charge shots here to speed this up for the team. There we go. So again, we don't have the total monster reader. We just have to feel in our hearts whether all the enemies have died. Nice try, Sinozoa. Even without the monster reader, you didn't get the jump on me. Get outplayed. Let's see, we're coming in at a solid 20 minutes. over there. Rip Hellcleave. Uh-oh. Is Hellcleave trying to max his meter? I guess... No, I think two donates should have been fine. Oh, okay. Rip the speed and efficiency of hell.
boss is so done. Yeah, I think I got most of my hits, or at least the ones that I could hit. I'm happy with that. Not happy with this attack pattern, though. Ooh, hit me out of the Resta. That was rude. Olga Flow has had enough of our shenanigans, apparently. Get out of here, Olga Flow. Eat Last Swan. <laughs> Thank you, Last Swan. Or when the boss goes downwards and Vulcan is just not long range enough to matter. Yeah, I know when the boss does that to me, I just Josh Minikov it out of spite mostly. So it should basically make all my money back. So I spent about 17,000 with all the charge and Jaya. That's not too bad. material. Big oof. And, so, and apparently just soul atomizer for the boss draw. Painful last couple of drops. Oh well. I guess we tried. Marco's been steadily leveling with us at least. I guess if there's too many deaths, maybe that won't be 20,000, then that'll be sad. Oh, just two. Okay, we're good. So I'm gonna quit out so that way I can get my reader back. RT loves to crash the monster reader. So we'll probably go another couple hours and then I'll take a break. Then we'll resume with Phoenix later. I'm not going to leave the stream on. I do want to take like a real break. And we'll give a send off to the Easter event. Let's put these away for now. How many eggs am I up to? 97 photon drops, 96 eggs. Pretty close. I don't need to help on this character. Let me sell that. I'm looking to save time. I think I'd rather have the item slot though. Okay, so I can hand in the quest. Force the whole game to turn off. Then we'll do a few more. But if there's other quests the team doesn't want to do, just let me know. Sometimes this reload works, sometimes it doesn't. I didn't feel like tempting. I, I guess I could try it next time it happens. The worst thing that happens, I gotta move it later. Let me check some set damage. I might be able to take off my heavenly HP. Nice, nice.
Yeah, but the thing is, like, when before when the monster reader broke, sometimes it makes it come back, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. But sometimes it'll also mess with my window positions if I manually move them. I think for the most part, they're not manually moved anymore. I think I made them set in the X and Y coordinates. So that way it's just like that forever. But if I were to move it there, for example, in between, then it goes there. Literally 1 HP above swipe fixed damage for falls. Nice. It depends on how I move it. Like, I think for the most part, most of, them, most of mine should be XY set versus, like, dragged. Like, if I were to drag this kill counter somewhere, I think it would pop back to where the position was before. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I'm saying, Murphy. Yeah, because I, I don't remember if I moved anything with the mouse. <clears throat> I think not. I think originally I did. The When we were playing last year, before I did the video on that, 100%, I had mouse move stuff. But I think since then, it might be all cleaned up. I'll need a HP for eight, episode 4 plus the rest I'm good or I'm going to die anyway. Freaking Epsilon. Mm-hmm. Time for Murphy to power up. Unleash the hidden potential of Excalibur. I just end up with a nice Centurion ability instead of the Heavenly HP. V101, that's fair. Uh oh. <laughs> I saw the Megid coming at me and I'm like, ah, oh, it wasn't me, I swear. I killed the one that was nearest to me. Hmm. I haven't seen a vent egg in a while. Makes me want to check the lobby. <laughs> Where are these? It's the club. Perfect. Sorry, Hilda, you're my target. Damn, that me get though. Nice Jaya. Hopefully it came with some hit percentage. The weapon I'm still using on some of my hunters. Yeah, Epsilon's ridiculous. I wouldn't worry about that, Murphy. For, for that one, it would just be, like... Double Heavenly HPs. Or, what I thought was kind of useful is that if I had Adepts, the Adepts would... If I had two Adepts, it counted, like, a Heavenly HP. So I'd do, like, double Adept, Heavenly HP, Heavenly Battle. That way I was tanky enough to survive that nonsense. I was abusing that on my uh, white ID mage for the longest time, because 12% resist is pretty huge, and it makes sure that I'm capped with accuracy. 
sometimes you just don't want to miss. <laughs> journey to the boss, but we'll get there. See, moment of truth. Glitched, normal. Glitched, normal. Glitched. I think at some point we should try to get uh, Marco a cannon rouge. He would appreciate the power bump. Red Noodle's not bad in certain situations, but man oh man. Kind of rouge on these bosses is so broken. It is like the RT Conqueror. So I think after a couple of those, maybe we'll do some Ken of Rouge stuff. I'm always looking for better ones anyway. I think that's the only rare I haven't gone for in this event. Yeah, it just absolutely dumps on Gal Griffin. It's really good against Worm Boss. It's good against Dragon and RT. It can lead to really funny things where you can hit the switches as you go through Spaceship. I was practicing with uh, standing in such a way that I used them to hit my Freeze Trap and also hit the switch. <laughs> so that way I don't have to weapon swap at all. It's pretty disgusting. Also, I should have Jaya. Oops. My bad team. Busy talking, not busy swapping. Anyway, this should kill him. Hmm. Go for the lineup Olympic. Disqualified because I got distracted. Rip my Olympics. <laughs> I didn't think Last Swan could shoot through that to get that. That's interesting. There we go. Fireball. Yeah, I think at most I want to do maybe one more. Feel slightly RT down. It's a shame the uh, RBR doesn't line up with Cannon Rouge. It's not bad for Heaven Striker, but.
is what it is, I suppose, with that. Feeling it's not gonna give me a vulnerability, so I'm not gonna bother holding forward here. I feel like it has not been triggering very often. Oh, it actually did give it to me. I did have 100% accuracy with special. I wasn't sure if it was 86 or 100 or 96, but it was 106. Okay. That's fair. So I could just special, special, special instead of heavy, special, special. That does make a difference. <laughs> 40 hit laser, of course. I feel like I'm being teased with these weapon drops. This is painful how many of them are like so close to being good. If they just had anything, they would just be like worth something. It's so sad. I think I'm with Hellcleave. <laughs> if they ask for my next quest design, it'll be please let us spend items in order to take common items and put specials on them. I don't care how expensive it is or unpractical it is. I'm tired of seeing these like 70 hit lasers with no special. It's one thing to remove a special and replace it, but it should be, like, specifically blank. That'll be my request if I ever win one of those. I mean, I don't think it, it, it would be quite something if it was worth the, worse than the PSO2 crafting. I'm like, just, just not that, and then we're fine. Make everything soul bound, account bound. I don't know if they could ever do that in regular PSO. I'd rather they not do that. I was never a fan of that mechanic in any game that it existed in. Do not want. be funny if, if we ended up just sacrificing team points, like for a thousand team points at a basic special. Yeah, but I mean, instead of just going for PDs, make them actually directly usable in the system. I don't see anything that I missed back there. already a 68 meter, so I'm good for the rest of the area. 
mission accomplished. He needs to turn into cookies. There you go. Cookie quests are quite something. Just a quick kuno, eh? So yeah, we'll do like a handful of quests. I think we'll stop actually a little before... Maybe 6.30? Because I, I do need to eat. Like, have a real meal. Yeah, that's just too inconsistent. It looks like it should hit with last one, it just doesn't, sadly. Who knows, does, though? Doesn't do very much, sadly. Yeah, I'm doing like little bits of 200 to this boss. Thank you, Les Swan, for letting me shoot from this distance. Oh, I'll just try mates. Unfortunate. Sorry about that, I was getting a message. Anyway, let's continue. Fortunately, I don't need meter. This is just an opportunity for people to get meter. <laughs> I'm good. I'm way further than I should be. Up with the Sinnoh. Mind me just ignoring the enemy. Ooh, let's use a Rafoe here. Oh, it actually missed. So, low level Rafoe doesn't always hit that. That's interesting. Okay, we should be able to get to low 90s here without a problem. In like two rooms, that is. distracted by the music. Okay, we have quite a bit left in the soundtrack. Just wanted to verify. I've been going steady. Hmm. I'm gonna avoid taking damage here. I might be able to abuse the 100 to get through some enemies. But I think I'm gonna have to... Over here, one Gafoe. I 
was gonna say, the worst thing that happens there is I get hit and then I move on. I think I'll equip charge Vulcans so I could just burst them. I mean, I just need to get 3 meter between now and the end. That's like maybe a chainsaw. It's very minimal time loss. I think it's better for me to just speed clear this area if I can. Case in point. Let's see if we could freeze the target through the wall. Fortunately, was not able to. I did try though. This didn't work, sadly. prefer to get my invincibility, but that's fine. I like that this one never seems to spawn enemies, so it's easiest for me to clear that one. So the rest of the team can deal with that. I did not trust the laser gate. Yeah, one little box check, and then we're good to go. Damn, I did hit it right at the end. Pop the one at the end, at least. Wasn't sure. It was a little, a little dumb to take that risk. I just waited. Sadly, not even a weapon of interest drop there. Still worth checking. There we go, I used the charge gun here. It's been in my inventory this whole time. Figure why not. This time, not body blocked by the Sinnoh. Ooh, it's like a little too early. Still pretty close. I'm beginning to judge its spawn distance against my pistol range a bit better. Because that time it was like, it had to take one step to get into range, whereas before it was like three steps too far. Thank you, Chinchilla, for subscribing. Always appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoy the emotes. Okay, so I think we're good to go then. Let's do using twins. I think I'm good for maybe, say like two more quests. I'm gonna take a break and come back with Phoenix Ryan. I almost think that ice actually just killed. That's kind of embarrassing for Olga Flow. Like, haha, I will unleash my true power. Oh no, a chill! And just done. If only Olga Flow dressed for the winter, could have avoided that death.
<laughs> it's like Trials of Mana all over again. Ooh, team damage is getting... Team damage definitely jumped because I didn't get a sixth attack out that time. Good job, team. Those level ups and or unit changes seem to be working. You want to want to make a big difference. Mm. Sadly, no item of interest for me, just the diamond. Like, again, could you imagine if Gabarda hit, like, the Volt Ops Gabarda did, where it just, like, pop, 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 it, like, just deletes you? Would have been so godlike, chat. I wish I had a Gabarda that did, like, 1800 damage. And seems to like always insta freeze because it procs so often. Okay, let's switch to. I guess episode four. I'm gonna remove some. Oops. I'm gonna remove some adepts from another character. Why is it not doing this? Stop that. Oh, did F11 get triggered or something? I don't know. Why is it doing this? I'm not putting another space in here. Hello? Is it somehow double pressing? It must be. Yeah, it is. That's annoying. Stop that. <laughs> like, I'm only hitting space once, but it was putting two spaces. I think it got locked into F11 for some reason. So anyway, it's out of F11 now. Yeah, that did confuse me, because I'm like, no, I'm only hitting space once. I'm not double tapping. But anyway, let's go put these items away. And then I'll make a couple of maybe Red Surface Episode 4 or something. Just regular boss runs. Assuming she still has her stuff, indeed she does. We just get rid of this real quick. Yeah, we'll do a couple episode four into maybe one last TTF. And then I think I'm done, since today has been a very long PSO stream. In addition to yesterday's late nightness. <laughs> almost, almost basically 24 hours of PSO. I think if I were to go like another two, three hours. It was almost 9, plus there was stuff before the stream. And it was 7 today so far. I don't think I need anything there. Do I need anything here real quick? Any fun 50 hits? Charge shot. If only that was charge arm. I would have bought that. I'm not buying a shot, though. That would have been exciting. Put these away, and... I do have one V to one floating, correct? Yes. Okay, that's good enough. 24 hours of PSO and 48 hours. Yeah, pretty much. Especially if you include off stream time, I think it's already been 24 hours. If you only include on stream, I think it's been about 16 or 17. So it's definitely been a lot. So I'm definitely feeling it, as it were. So yeah, we'll take a mental break after a couple of just simple red boss runs. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do, like, whatever the team wants to end the Easter event with. 
whether it's a TTF or the RBR, this will be your last chance to request something. Let's bring in Dumpling. Still technically gets Heaven Striker if I do uh, full boss quest. Oh, it's an odd beat. That's unfortunate. I wanted to double check that. Oops, got that again. Order inventory. Ooh, I don't think I took the merges. I always do that. I remember like the one item that I definitely didn't get and then I forget the other item. So I'm gonna hope I have a Kaboy merge. Rebarda merge is fine. I have that for the boss if needed. So boss-wise, that's fine. Do I at least have a Rafo emerge, if not a Gafo emerge? I have both. Okay, good, good, good. Because I did not check to see if she had it. Then I can do two adepts, and I think we're good to go. Is she already getting is she hilariously wrong in lobby? It's pretty funny. Yeah, it does get very wonky. Wow, I'm up to 80 mono grinders. That's pretty good. The Serian was at like 10 at the beginning of the event after putting them away. That's pretty solid. And I'm not even picking up like all possible ones. At some point I should check to see how many tickets she has. I did write down somewhere... The name of the mod I wanted to get. Although I have to actually physically look to see where I put it. That's unfortunate. Oh, I'm closing my wild arm notes. I, I'm never using that again. Um, I don't have the name of the mod anymore. It's like counter. I'll, I'll double check later. I see my PSO notes, but it's not in there. Because I do want to check tickets. This character might be capped on tickets. I'm not sure. We'll find out, I guess. We'll do maximum attack E. Yeah, so she set up for fire damage with ignition cloak. Kafoe. As long as I don't Kafoe immediately and let the team kill the initial Rappies, then I don't spook them. Can Rafoe though, while I'm waiting. <laughs> I can try to meme get them. Nice. Oh, what killing spree! I did it, chat. Oh, that's gonna spook them. No! I wanna avoid that. Rip. Yeah, don't go Foe the first room. That's specifically what I'm looking to not do. After that, now it doesn't matter. That's like one of the only waves where they can get spooked. The nemesis. Let me debuff them so Chat can kill them faster, then I'll go back to Gavoi stacking. Yeah, so with two forces stacking, it's, they just die so quickly. And this poor Dorfon is about to get dunked on. <laughs> I just shot a regular Foey. That was disrespectful of me. I'm just like, you know what? Had enough. So it'll be normal wave, ice wave, lightning wave. But if we fire stack on lightning wave, because we don't really add that much damage, potentially we could end up with a big Foey stack. Because there's like two waves back to back that just take a million damage. So like this wave will do normally, and then this wave I'm just going to go fully stack. Because there's just so many satellite lizards that appear after this. It's worth having as many as possible. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one Astark in between. I would still recommend stacking. I'm just going to debuff them for the team, and then I'm going to go right back to stacking. As long as there's a lure, it's not too bad. I guess it'll be Satellite Lizards, and then Satellite Lizards with Zoos, and then it'll be Astarks again. 
So once these guys are dead, I'm just gonna move out of the way. Okay. So I don't need to be here anymore. Let's not deal with the Astark. Um, in theory, I could Gafoe stack once the Astarks are low on HP. I guess if I really want to deal with uh, <clears throat> Dorfon, I suppose chip him out. If only one is to lure them. Nicely done. Yeah, I think with the Ignition Cloak, I think I just like Foey better. Well, especially his Foe Neural over Grants. But I think even on the other characters, unless I'm like Fomar. Fomar makes sense. He's got that Grants bonus. Potentially, Mother Garb Phonumen is also a good choice for Grants. Nice pool. Unused track. Sounds like a victory track to me. The congratulations! He blew everything up! Yeah, so sadly after this, I think it's going to be double Astark into the awful, awful, awful Zabuda wave. Or Babuda wave, I mean. Wow, back-to-back -back event eggs. That's kind of nice. That wave died so quickly, even when I stopped casting a Bowie for the Astarks. Two entire waves died in that time span. That was crazy. So much lingering to Foey. Alright, now we're through the hard part, so let's go back to Kapoe stacking. And then every single wave after this, we're gonna Kapoe stack, because the worst thing that happens is it goes into Dwarfon, and Dwarfon takes Kapoe. So I'm absolutely doing this. Go ahead, Dwarfon, spawn. Watch what happens. That was brutal. Good job, team. Uh, I'm probably gonna use Double Dive Fluid and then change the soundtrack. Rip the soundtrack. Challenge completed. On to Bomberman 2 for the DS. Not to be confused with the literally dozens of games that are before Bomberman 2. That would technically qualify more as a sequel than that one. Including Bomberman Second Attack. Yeah, sadly, the first couple of waves are a little awkward for forces. It's like, there's not much to Gafoe stack on right away. There'll always be, like, one awkward wave, but I guess somebody could always just commit to Gafoe stacking anyway. Definitely want to lure them. Damn, we got taken out hardcore. I'm gonna Zalore, so that way the actual fire weak wave will get melted. Nice. Okay, we're trying to get a Cannon Rouge for Marco, see if that happens. Or get our own Cannon Rouge. If it rolls better, then we just give a hand-me-down to Marco anyway. It's kind of a win-win. Alright, so let's all group up. Come to us. And we kill once we're all grouped. We're gonna wait to Gafoe a little bit, because I don't want to interrupt- Ooh, Gafoe a little early. Uh, could mess them up. Yeah, that'll mess them up. That's unfortunate. So the reason we group up is also if we don't Gafoe, then they will all charge and stop shy of hitting us. But if there's a Gafoe still lingering out there, it'll make them stop way too early, which is unfortunate. This quest will teach you not to spam. <laughs> there's a lot of times where if you don't have restraint, you will get punished. First being the, the Rappy room, if you want to get all the items. This one's another good room. Let's get the uh, Trifluid, I think. Yeah, that's a good pickup. Mine Material... Is that another Mine Material? Indeed 
get a power material over here, mine material over here. Perfect. Okay. So I'll wait for the team a little bit, and I'll reapply buffs. Yeah, this one's kind of tricky, because there's like a couple of really bad waves back-to-back. -back. As long as we only stop to Zalur mostly, we should be fine. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep the Bowie stacking. Because I think even on the Zoos, after this wave, it's okay. Yeah, goodbye Satellite Lizards. And it'll be Zoos, Zoos and the Marissas. Oh, I forgot there was one wave in between. They die so fast, I hardly consider it a wave. Well, anyway, now we're going to go into the zoos. And then it will still go into the Marissas. So I'm just going to continue to stack. We have got a good Gaboe stack that should just kill all the Marissas. Yeah, pretty much. Been, okay, so now I'm going to go towards the top half of the room, so that way I don't spook the Rappi. That's the other thing. This is another room where it's really easy to spook the Rappi. Learning the, where those are as the force... I think, uh, potentially nets a lot more items. Aside from that, I think that- is that the last room you get punished? I think so. It's kind of like a sort of kind of room where it happens, but... Like, I guess technically the Rappies with the Goron Detonator wave could sometimes be rare Rappy. Nice full tundra. Okay, I'm gonna come in and stun lock. There we go. Favorite wave in the game. Look at them just hanging around. And then if you are positioned properly, you just walk forward a little bit and get to debuff the whole room. And that only works if you go in the center. Now I'm gonna stack a foley because I know Marissas are coming up. I already did my job of debuffing everything. I'm just gonna leave it to team. I might do a, a, a courtesy resolve every now and then, but that's about it. My damage is better, better right here. Yeah, look how fast that wave is because of the stacks. <laughs> Nearly instantly do they die. As long as we're roughly center, even if enemies don't take stack damage, they'll walk into the lingering Gafoe, which will chip out things like the power Gorons. Case in point, like, I'm about to do a lot of damage to the Gorons. Speaking of which, yeah, that was a lot of, like, Greg Bowie waiting for them. Jeez, they got deleted. Use a rare Bowie to speed it up, because I think that's the final wave before Gertabulu. Oh no, there's one more. That's right, we have the Rappy wave. Sadly, even though I stopped casting, they still died to that. Let's see what Chinchilla has to say. So in PSO, everyone is pretty much a DPS, very much not like MMO Sunday, they have a tank DPS and heal. Uh, yeah, generally speaking, there should not be like a quote-unquote dedicated healer. Like, there are characters that are definitely suited for healing, like my character, but the intent is that the best way to avoid damage is to kill everything nearly instantly. So pretty much everything is very offense-oriented. If we're running with a weaker party, we might play more defensively with like debuffs. Otherwise, it's just all murder. Yeah, if you got any questions for us, feel free to ask. We're using a quick menu here to get frame perfect casts. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, so you can see like it lights up briefly. That means that I've input it, and until the frame that they're able to cast it again, it's gonna hold that input. Technically, there's a couple other ways you could do it as well. Yeah, I'm stacking a lot of good Bowie in the room because there's enemies that can spawn in and take damage from it, and then I will try to Zalur for targets so they die faster. So, like, I'll try to point out problem enemy waves, otherwise, it's just making sure we have Gafoe out at all times. Like, this room, this wave doesn't take a lot of damage from Lingering Gafoe, but if they die fast enough, the wave after it does. Nice level up. I'm gonna go ahead and set up some Gafoe's for the next wave. 
So that way they just instantly take like a thousand to two thousand damage. And if there's two people stacking in multiplayer, that's usually an insta kill on a wave. Like this wave will die almost instantly, as you can see. <laughs> nice level up. It just makes everybody's life really easy if we do proper stacks. And you'll see me occasionally Zalur. Like, the giant bird in the sky it can be kind of annoying for some people to kill. So we'll weaken his defense. Debuff time. Okay, here we're gonna go for a Razan stun lock, so we're gonna shut down the Grand Detonators from swinging. We'll see them do their little animation, but never hit anybody. And since this is the final wave, we can focus on lightning over fireball. Yeah, some spawn knowledge helps, but I feel like for the most part, unless you're playing, like, time attack, it's not super necessary to memorize the waves. If you're aware of vaguely what you need in the quest, most of the time that's good enough. And then after that, you'll figure it out within a couple runs, what makes sense. Or you'll watch somebody do it. Yeah, we're gonna debuff here, because these enemies are quite annoying. Let's go back to Kapoe stacking. My general rule of thumb with episode 4 is if an enemy seems really annoying to kill with fire, usually the wave after it is weak to fire, and that advice so far has helped me to be correct 80% of the time whether there's going to be a wave that actually cares about fireball. So we debuff those enemies, we're going to let the team kill those. Like, that Goron Detonator was hard to kill with fire, aka the tall giant thing. So then we just immediately started spamming Gafoe afterwards. Sometimes you'll get lucky and it's two fire weak waves in a row. I know this one will have something weak to fire afterwards. And then after that will also be weak to fire. So I'm gonna go back to stacking Gafoe here. So I did maybe 1500 damage to all of them. So once they kill the zoo, it should be GG. All the poor satellite lizards or yaoi's come in and die. And now we can focus purely on debuffs. So this enemy has a very high defense, so if we lure them, our team's actually able to damage them. And we'll spam grants to just do damage. Yeah, he's already dead. Uh... I guess I'll switch to Rafoe plus Fire Staff? Oh, nice to skip Rayman. I'm going to assume we are not going to get the rare boss. Anything you should know here? Okay, let's spend a minute to talk about it for new players. So I'm going to talk about Chinchilla's comment in a moment, but first, for this boss, it has three distinct phases. First phase, spinner phase. Think of a... Think of basically a traffic light. You want to red light the boss, find the red spinner. Orange is okay, yellow is a little iffy. Kill it as fast as you can. That'll stun the boss. Think of it as like a giant worm boss. It's kind of like worm, but instead of being in the ocean, it's just in the ground burrowing. Then it'll pick one of the caves to go in the side. It's always the upper right the first time. Generally speaking, you will not have to worry about that. You sh if you think of the room as a giant clock, stand in the five o'clock position. Usually someone will be there and generally two forces and whoever is killing the boss will be there. The reason we do that is because there are uh, segmented plates on the boss, and if something goes wrong, you will need to clean it up, or if it goes right, if you damage the boss, it'll kill the boss. So if you have a shotgun, I would recommend you bring it. If it comes to one of the later phases, as in like it comes back to the center of the room, Heaven Striker is preferred, or a high damage single target like Charge Vulcan, that should cover everything. We'll go over it as we go through. But anyway, Chinchilla says, do enemies get stunlocked from damage alone, or is this something that specifically stuns? Uh, okay, so we're gonna also separate slightly here so the spinners don't spawn on us. Just be wary that spinners will hunt you down. There's basically three per player. Okay, so we got the standard boss here. Um, there are things that can paralyze enemies, like shock ailment or paralysis, or technically freeze can freeze them for the freeze lock. Uh, but typically a little bit of damage will be enough to stun them. So I can see that there is a red red thing here. I'm going to spam fireball. And now we're going to look for the boss, which is in the bottom left. So if there's people that have ATP, you can think of it. There's four plates here. If I chain lightning it, we can hit the plates. 
So the beginning phase, until we pop all the plates, requires a shotgun. If the boss comes back in the room and we do not mess up, if you have a monster reader, it'll say 2552, I believe, and only one thing will have that. And that means that you can just get your best single target. So take a look at the area map. I would recommend you go into roughly the five o'clock position if you think of the center as a clock and just wait there. Oops. I don't know why I thought it was green for some reason there. Big oops on that one. So green's in the perfect position. Go to green. I'm going to go join Murphy for damaging the boss. So for damaging the boss, if you have a dolphin, it's recommended that you do the dolphin attack with the mag blast. Otherwise... Equip your best ice moves to deal with the boss. So we can kind of use the rock to block some attacks. It's recommended when you first come in the room, you go along the right side. But since I'm late into this room, it doesn't matter. So Murphy actually has invincibility, which is perfect for him. I'm just going to spam Roberta. We're trying to damage it as evenly as possible. So I'm not going to attack here, because that'd be a greedy Roberta. When it comes back, I could get one Rebarter for free, guaranteed. So basically, one of us will heal spam, the other will spam it. The reason we want to do this is if we're not even in our damage, the bots will take longer to do. So see how that was 2552? So now it's going to go to the 5 o'clock position in the main room. Sometimes it gets a little glitchy and does that. It's not supposed to do that. Apologies. Because we did actually do it properly, just the game decided it wasn't done properly. So anyway, now it's right near where the other players are, so pop up the area map so you can see it. And that means there's only one crystal not popped, and then they pop it, and the boss fight's over. GG. Good job, team. So my bad, I was like... I don't know why I thought it was green. I'm gonna blame being hungry. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I'm... <laughs> why am I not moving where I think I'm moving? But anyway, this boss is worth a bazillion experience. You can see we got 215,000 total experience. Most of the time, this means that if you're under level 140, every single run of this quest will level you. Period. <laughs> like, end, end of statement. If we were playing with 50% XP, uh, getting nearly 300,000 is completely ludicrous. It's just... It's very, very silly. We'll show you what to do with these tickets. So if you don't die, or if you get revived via escape dolls, you'll be rewarded for doing well. So we'll do a couple of these just so that you... We make sure you have enough tickets. But essentially you can hand them in for a bunch of super items. So not only is the quest like really high enemy density, really high XP, fantastic items start to finish, on top of being a boss run, on top of having really good chests at the end of the boss, it also gives you some of the most overpowered quest clear items in the game. And so that's why I think this quest is one of the best ones in the game, period. Honestly, in some ways, I'd like this more than TTF and RT. If all you're looking for is just, like, weapons in order to kill bosses, this run has it, and it has your TTF weapon, potentially, and... It also just gives so much raw XP that if you're even vaguely low leveled, you're going to power level. The only requirement for the quest is having about 740 HP to survive Dwarfon on surface and 870 to survive the boss's laser. As long as you have more than that, you could do this quest. It could be a little awkward if ATP users attack the boss. So typically speaking, you'll, so you'll see people with... Uh, something known as the Striker Unit, which will turn the weapon known as the Heaven Punisher or the Heaven Striker into the... Or actually, Heaven Punisher does that automatically, ignore me. It turns the Heaven Striker into an almighty laser dispenser. And because the laser does not have variable damage, it means that Romarl in particular is kind of a goddess of clearing this boss. This boss is like an absolute joke to it. So if you have like really, really, really high MST on that character, she basically dumpsters it. It's kind of wild how much damage she does. Eight eight three for Shamberton. Yeah, I'm not really sure why Shamberton does more, to be honest with you. And Conjury, why does Conjury do the least? Honest question. The rare boss hurts you the least for some reason.
like it actually makes no sense. So anyway, I'm gonna refuse to go forward here since I want to get the uh, Rappy's kill. I do have Piercing Negid, which is almost a 50-50. Oh, speaking of which, we got rewarded for not doing that because now the Rare Rappy will not be spooked. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Rewarded for the patience. All right, now, now we don't care anymore. <laughs> Back to the regularly scheduled Fireball to the face. Yeah, Rappies do die to Megid uh, pretty easily in Ultimate. So Megid has some use in Episode 4. Other enemies are just too resistant in multiplayer. Like, technically the zoos have a 10%-ish chance of dying to it, but it's, it's not worth it. Yeah, and the reason we don't want to spook the Rappies for people that don't know what I'm talking about uh, when it's a special event, they cannot drop Easter Eggs, which is the special event item for this particular event. And also, you don't get XP for it. So if you're looking to power level, and you start dropping Rappies, that's potentially like five to 6,000 XP a run that you're missing. Because kills are worth so much in Episode 4. You get punished pretty hard. I'm gonna get lasered. I didn't get lasered. Okay. We'll take that. Fireball time. So I don't think the Rappy dropped me anything, sadly. But we'll take that XP. So yeah, I find this is like one of the better quests to play. Once, once you have those HP totals, you're able to basically run this quest over and over. It has really valid items for most IDs. And if for whatever reason you're only like a surface character versus underground, there's still a lot of really great episode 4 quests to run. Yeah, generally speaking, if you've not played it before and you're not familiar with the enemy types, I would say in order of priority for people to kill, Dorfon, Astark, Zoo, everything that is not basic Buddha, in that order. So if you see an Astark, that should probably be one of your top priorities. Zoo's also up there, I guess. Zoo and Astark are about on the same level. Dorfon are a big problem. Like, I would worry more about the Dorfon than I would an Astark. Alright, let's move aside so we don't get to fight Dorfon. Most of the time, Dorfons are in waves by themselves, but some quests they do mix them. So you'll see like Zoos and Dorfons, so I might throw like a single Gafoe to interrupt their dive bomb, for example. But the rest of the time, I'm focusing hardcore on a Dorfon to make sure it dies. Whether it's through Paralysis or Demons to reduce its health, it's pretty nasty. If you end up with like a basic B5 O unit, uh, Spread Needle potentially is also very strong here for its special as a cast. So, weapons that are useful in TTF also kind of dumpster episode 4. I would say probably the least priority for Hunters and Rangers would probably be Rappies and uh, followed by the Lizards. Rappies are very, very easy for forces to kill, so unless there's literally nothing else to fight, I would just never shoot them. When you're a force, you learn to fear one thing, the Babuda. If, if a Babuda spawns, that is probably the next highest priority target after the Astar. Like, Zabudas and Buddhas that we see here, aka like the normal grunts and the purple grunts, are whatever. The thing that we're worried about are the Babudas, because they do- they take like no damage from us and they stun lock. They're actually quite annoying. So we know that they're coming up next, so just beware. I'll pick up that PD eventually. I'm gonna throw a fireball out there, not to damage them, but to slow them down. Like, th this is like the nightmare of horses. If left alone, they're just gonna chuck like a million fireballs, and they have relatively high HP. So the fact that it requires us to stop fireballing means that our entire purpose of winning is out the window. Also, wrong staff. Okay, I think I wanna get the uh, PD before things get too crazy. It is a lore. Yeah, I would say I would say from the perspective of understanding like what a force wants, 
Just put it this way, if anything stops the horse from fireballing, that is the number one threat. If the enemy dies to fireball, it's probably not a threat. Dorfon is like slightly too tanky, it is the reason why it's there. Otherwise, if they took as much damage as like regular Buddhas did against Gifoe, then I would say I wouldn't worry about them either. But they're just so damn tanky. Oh, speaking of which, the Nightmare Wave. <laughs> Between the fireball stun lock, where they just repeatedly shoot fireballs at you and all that other stuff. Let's not deal with that. So yeah, so our, our big nemesis is what ends up giving a fantastic ranger item if you're playing red ID. Honestly, there are... It's kind of hard to say there's like a truly awful ID in episode 4. It's just that you might not get what you want out of all the IDs. Like, some are very much suited for rare enemy hunts or, like, boss rush only. And some are meant just for, like, surface only. But I do think things like red, green are very strong, white ID is very good, purple ID is really good, especially underground. Let's go Brave Man with 25 total hit? That's not bad. I might pick that up for a new player. I did lure them into it in my defense. <laughs> I was like, as long as I'm really close to the group, it shouldn't be too bad. And, you know, they, were, they, got, they were still pretty clumped. But it's definitely much better than before. The other, the other time they were like full screen and we couldn't do anything about that. They were like off by maybe a dwarf on with. That wasn't the worst. But anyway. Striker Plus. I wish that was a good unit. There's so many items in this game where like all they had to do was just give something else and it would have been so amazing. Like, could you imagine if Striker Plus allowed you to uh, shoot Heaven Striker lasers on Odd Beat? Like, how much, more, how much better that item would have been? <laughs> So <laughs> like, okay. So many so many missed opportunities without needing to necessarily be a stat race. Disappointing. Anyway, we'll help out a little here. Rip these satellite lizards. They don't know they're already dead. The killing spell has already been cast. So we're gonna deep up the Pyrogoron so we don't take massive damage. Yeah, those guys are tougher than the regular Goron. Zunes are also not a really big deal for forces. Like, you'll have to kill them at some point, don't get me wrong. So when in doubt, like, just Vulcan them out of existence. But in terms of threat level, they're not very high on the force level. They're more of a, if you don't kill them, forces take way too long to kill them. Ooh, I got greedy. I only lost... I only dropped one of them there. That could have been much worse. So I have to remember after the uh, other wave to walk forward. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. Depends on how many waves I've been counting, honestly. Yeah, it's important we use the Lord, the Gurdabulu. Ooh, somebody had demons. I saw it taking 5k twice in a row. That doesn't just happen. I'm going to use the Telepipe, not because I think I'm going to use it for its intended purpose, but I just want that out of my inventory. <laughs> That's it. Just don't want it there. Okay, we're going to make sure after this zoo dies, we go for the debuff. Because that way the team doesn't just get knocked down repeatedly. The Goron Detonator is a very high ATP. So now that we're underground, you can replace Goron with Goron... Or Gorfon with Goron Detonator. They're a pretty big threat if left alone. And they take forever for horses to kill. So they're usually priority number one. Even more so than Zeus, for sure. Zeus, at least, they could be chipped out by the horses. Those cannot. Horses can stunlock them with lightning magic. By just casting rapidly, they can just forever shut down their longer attack animation. 
but it's not very fast compared to truly optimized characters. We do a couple of these. Just to speed it up a little bit. Come back to Gafoe. And there, if I hadn't debuffed, I would have been knocked down, and that would have been a big time loss, especially when you're trying to stack Gafoe. Anything that stops you from casting Fireball is not your friend. So if I, it's because my character is very low defense-wise, I have to debuff. Other characters don't necessarily need to do that. Those Rappies actually died nearly instantly, so that saved a huge amount of time. Let's debuff the room. So yeah, my goal is basically to stunlock the zoos. Gurdabulu is probably more important than zoo. So I guess it would be like Gurdabulu, Goron Detonator, zoo in that order down here. Fortunately, there's no Babudas. If there were Babudas down here as well, it'd be horrible. Which is why, which is why at one point, maybe I'll ask them to do a dream quest where it's just awful, awful amounts of Babuda with <laughs> truly, truly terrible combos as a troll to PSO. Uh, that's fine. Go to the center of the room for our casts. It's technically faster to use Rafoe, which is the AoE nuke, uh, if we're talking about clearing a single wave, but the way the Force has to think is they have to know many waves ahead of time, whether the wave is worth doing anything on. So even though my Gafoe doesn't do damage here, it does stunlock them, so you'll see that we'll do little walks in place, and that's purely because of what I just did then. Sometimes even the fact that you're not necessarily damaging, but you're stopping them from ever hitting the other players is kind of huge. So I'm going to go for... I was going to say Freeze, but uh, the cast beat us to it, so good good call there. Freeze was a very good call. So yeah, it's like the Hunter. If I saw a room with one zoo, all satellite lizards, I would just Vulcan that zoo out of the sky. No questions asked. That comes from many, many years of playing Episode 4. You just know what's more annoying for the Force to kill. Let's rebuff the team. So this should slow down the Goron Detonators, which is what I'm looking to do. So debuff, debuff, debuff. Which I was able to do very easily, because they're still being hit by the Fireballs. Because otherwise you might get a debuff and then they slap you kind of thing. Sometimes it's worth it, it just depends on the character. We'll pick up a couple of these. How's my invincibility trigger looking like? Okay, fixed our synchro. Rip out cleave. He beat me in the room by just a little bit. So yeah, these enemies can very easily kill the players. But after a gel and it's not too bad. AKA the attack down. So you'll see me attack down the Goron Detonator first, just so that they don't knock anybody down. So you will take some damage, but it's not horrific damage. And again, if they don't get knocked down, they get to attack longer. So yeah, there's a... 1 in... 10? Chat can correct me if I'm wrong chance of the boss at the end of any episode 4 quest to be replaced with the rare boss. I kind of wish that was a mechanic in the other episodes. I kind of wish they did that. Just to add more variety. Yeah, the episode 4 boss can be either the standard Saint Million or it could be Conjuryu. The monster reader will label their name in orange, which is useful. They all have different weaknesses and slightly different damage. Their pattern is mostly the same, though. Stag Cutlery with hit. It's an unfortunate. I'm gonna do a single Grand Stairs out of courtesy. Skirtabulu is crazy dead. When it's by itself, it can't really do anything. Yeah, team just straight up paralyzed it. GG. Oh, I 
Yes, I'm gonna make sure my fire staff is equipped with a uh, Rafoe merge, just in case. The reason I do Rafoe merge here over Gafoe is that if there's more than one target, like if, for example, my real target's blocked by another target, I'll Rafoe instead of using my single target fireball, which is Foe. Okay, so we got the basic boss again. So that means its initial spinners are gonna be weak to fire. If we're really lucky, there's gonna be a spinner to the upper right portion of my screen that has a red color. If I'm unlucky, it's yellow. Orange is also acceptable. That's orange, that's fine. So we're very quick at ending this phase of the boss. Normally other players are like hunting them down and they dodge and they spin everywhere, but we're taking advantage of the fact that there is a set location for the first one. So that way it doesn't matter for the most part how we approach this room. We don't let RNG really impact that at all. Although speaking of RNG, it's time for some horrendous RNG. Let's switch to Rebarta Merge for more damage and Ice Scepter. But essentially if you get a really strong uh, Cannon Rouge, potentially one with hit, it really dumpsters this boss as well. So it's kind of funny that the episode 4 weapon just is such a great solution for everything. I'm gonna hug the wall here so you can see what I mean. The boss may or may not tornado. If it missiles, I still basically dodge it. If it tornadoes because I'm against the wall, it will not hit me. Wow, that is a really gross pattern of attacks it gave me. Missiles, spinner, tornado. It really wants to make sure it knocks me down once. This is a kind of tough pattern to deal with as a force. Like, we're, I'm just gonna get knocked down at some point. There's not much I could do about this. So Murphy has basically the perfect HP. The boss is very likely to make him invincible, which is why I say I like low HP characters because of the fact that they can abuse things like invincibility triggers more easily. Not that other characters can't. Oh, real backwards, I'm sorry. I thought he was gonna actually attack there. And I keep getting hit by spinners, which is very annoying. Can the spinners please go away? <laughs> Please, please stop knocking me down. Please go away. Thank you. So we can correct this as needed. So if we take too much damage, we'll end up getting Mag Blast. So Murphy has invincibility now. Ooh, we missed it by a little bit, but that's fine. Because if the team pops this, then it will still remain where the team is. So don't move anywhere, team, in this scenario. If you see us miss it, which can happen, because the boss reels back and does awkward attacks that'll interrupt your abilities. Uh, so worst thing is you you kill it there, and then it's going to go back to the 5 o'clock position. So if it didn't spawn at the 5 o'clock position currently, and it went to 6 o'clock, just move back. So I'm going to start walking there during the cutscene. <laughs> We're all congregating. So I have Barda. Rip Marco. So it's on my side. Goodbye. And Boltz is dead. So that's kind of like the backup plan if it doesn't go evenly. Otherwise, what'll happen is if you were to single target that, for every single plate, you would have to switch where, where you are and you have to go to the other side rooms, which is a miserable experience. I don't recommend it. Forces, however, don't care about that for the most part. I got money, not bad. No interesting weapons. Die grinder, I guess I could pick that up. So I'm willing to do one more and a TTF and then I think I'm done. Need a little break. So one more, we'll show how to use the venue tickets, and then maybe a TTF. I think that's fair. So there's a shop quest in episode 2 that will take those tickets. And it's basically RNG what you get, but potentially getting things like 200,000 Meseta, luck material, TP material, all of which would be potentially high demand. So that can save you a lot of time. So the quest might give 20,000 Meseta, but with enough tickets, it might just give you a million plus, depending on how you roll into it. But 
those away. Really don't need Magician TP. I'm gonna leave that on the floor. We don't have many Trimates left, which is unfortunate. I have more than enough for the boss, but I think if I use a couple more Dimates first, it could be a bit perilous. The reason I want to have healing items is that because my HP is too high, I can't get invincibility from being hit by the boss laser, so it's better for me to just instant heal. Or if I know Murphy's going to heal, there's no point to me healing. I'll just take Murphy's heal. Generally speaking, I should probably be the one to heal because I have 1745 MST. So more likely than not, I'm probably going to full level, <laughs> full heal you. And on the plus side, in one more level, I think I'm actually going to finally hit max MST for this character. It took a very long time to get here, but it did eventually happen. did on the beyond the horizon while attempting to menu with one hand just rehydrating real quick I mean I don't mind that quest but I think we'd I think we'd prefer to get some items or tickets instead I like that you can kind of tell based off of people's habits what spell they're gonna use so I know Murphy will go for like the shift of more often than not and he should I did not mean to get Foey there. That was not the right button. Foey don't get punished here. Go away, go Foey. That was supposed to be me good. Okay, it went away. We're good. I was trying to do this button to troll the, the, the Rappies. It does save some time. Actually, it should be this one. Also, it sounds like the music paused. It did. Anyway, back to the game. Why do I never menu the right item? There we go. I want to use Magical Piece over Fire Scepter. Fire Scepter is okay against like Dwarfon because it does 20% more for your basic fire attack. But more often than not, I'm stacking Gafoe. Instead of taking 20% from Fire Scepter, I'd rather get a 30% boost with Magical Piece. Downside is that I, it does make my anti Dorfon techs weaker, but I mean, I'm going to be stacking Gafoe more than attacking Dorfon. There we go. Foe him out of existence. Get out of here. Um, one of these. I guess I could take a skip doll. Doesn't hurt. Get another Dimate. That's actually good. Buff them and then give Bowie spam. Give up them, back to Gafoe spam. I think with this much lingering Gafoe out, it should just be GG. I managed to sack quite a lot, yeah. GG. Yeah, some of those enemies are legitimately spawning dead. Where the moment they have any kind of frames where they are alive, they just take the damage and die. Take that active frames. Yeah, this quest is just so fantastic at giving items. Whoa, let's dodge those. Nice paralysis there. Perfect paralysis. Oh man, can you imagine if Striker Plus not only let you did odd beat lasers, but also improve laser damage by like a base 50? <sighs> Would have been so good.
Nice of an egg. So one last chance at Kenan Rouge for the day. Hmm. What ID do I feel like using to defeat Pulse? <laughs> I could bring my Sky ID, technically. Life is a little easier than the Huka Seals. Rip the Zeus. I've been the row killed. Rip Murphy. Too many items of interest drop, sadly. There's still no cannon rouge for anybody. Drop rate and rare rate are both good weeks to potentially go for it. So it's not like it's like suboptimal to do it right now. It does actually impact about the same. The flip side is we'll just see a lot more Meseta and other items if we do it during drop rate. And bosses obviously will not drop anything with an enhanced bonus since they always drop something anyway. That is a lot of stack of foe. I think the Buddhas are gonna die basically instantly. Yep, they did. Four, four Buddhas. Nice to Bene. Nice to Discovery Man. So close to leveling. The game is like freaking out slightly. I think I know what's causing the slowdown. It's like partially related to PSO, but I gotta. I actually gotta replace the battery. It's being used. One of the things I have in recording. It is causing some lag when it flickers. Oh, this time I'm gonna move. Luck one, noise, demon has found S parts. Nice. Ooh. I think that's gonna interrupt them. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Punish for the Gafoe. At least they're close now. There we go. Good cleanup. Take these. Take. Oh, but there's the tri fluid there. Never mind. Take the dive fluids. Wait for the team down here. Used maybe one less dive fluid. I think I did need to dive fluid because I think 11 or 1400 wouldn't have been enough. Because I've already used 400, for example, here. And I know I'm going to be stacking this for a while. about 700 TP. The Zuzu? What? Rare bird? What tomfoolery is this? You don't exist. Well, now that forcefully leveled me. Oh, Pazuzu didn't drop me a rare. That's fair. Did you find a... Oh, rage a few. Okay. Pazuzu. Throwing off my XP. 
Well, I actually did not gain enough MST to hit max. That is so sad. What happened to my like seven per level up? Also, I just like to say, chat, I think she was 100% cheated on MST. She should have had way more. She should have been getting basically seven every level minimum. Not only is her initial growth bad, I feel like they cheated her max. It would have been nice if she was scaled a little better so that the MST was about 15% or 20%. So basically, it's like instead of a 30% bonus attack, it's like she had a 15 due to her MST. She kind of does in some regards. But then they didn't really do anything to scale base MST at all to make it worthwhile. Tech levels are still really strong. Now, if Eita 1 have, had modified that in any way, that would have been kind of sick. Well, let me go in the middle of the room a bit more. Better. At least 345 defense. Yeah, see, that's what happens if I don't debuff. She just gets knocked flat every time. She's like one of the few characters where like HP and defense super, super matter because she's so bad with them normally. Nice level up. Murphy hitting the 141 territory. Marco at a comfortable 145. Oak Cleave creeping ever closer to yet another red ring. Yeah, those Rappies exploded, GG. We're having Roast Bird tonight. <laughs> there we go. Would have been nice if I got two more Easter eggs before I pause, but it's not a big deal either way. Just to say I had 99. <laughs> that was it. Not that I plan on doing anything with it. It's just more of a talking point. Like, oh no, I only- I ended with 97 or whatever. I'm assuming a couple of my characters still have eggs in their inventory. So it is possible I'm over 100 already. But we'll see. I think at this point, I'll just enlist Hellcleave and be like, Hellcleave, if you see that twin blaze, I'm dying for one. It's so good. I like it so much on the Cuca Seal. I don't use it on stream all the time when I should, but off stream it's used so often. I love it almost more than Kunai. <laughs> Nothing will replace my love of Kunai though. That thing is such a lifesaver on Kuka Seal. Oh, Photon Drop. Nice. So that means I ended at basically 98 Easter eggs, 98 Photon Drops. That's kind of sick. That is a lot of drops in the event, so keep in mind I deposited at least 80 in this event so far, so I got pretty much 90 photon drops this event. So it was very, very high in terms of uh, PD turnover. Most of it on stream, to be fair. There, there were like... There was like that one stupid time off stream when I killed the slimes and I got three PDs from them for no reason. That was funny. I'm just like, almost every slime in the slime dude gave me something. But yeah, most of the dead ones were on stream, so it kind of balanced out in the end. Speaking of, let, speaking of which, let's balance this out by stun locking. Nice level ups for the team. Rip that striker plus. Let's heal Hellclave before he gets murdered. These enemies do not mess around. The lack of invulnerability frames in multiplayer makes me a little sad. Because you'll notice that they, they quote unquote added invul frames to one player mode. So you're less likely to get like wombo comboed like in this game. This mode specifically. So, for example, if three enemies aim at you at the same time, in multiplayer, there is a very high chance all three will hit you on the same frame and you die. Single player, it's far more likely that you're going to resist it and then be immune for a bit. And another Pyro PD. I'm so sorry, hopefully. So yeah, sadly no Heaven Strikers. 
No cannon brooches. But maybe in the future we'll do it. We'll have to talk collectively as a group what time it would make sense to do PSO. I definitely do not want to do PSO next week. <laughs> I've put in so much PSO, I've earned a pass for at least at least three weeks. And we basically had a, a semi-unofficial 24 hours of PSO between two days. So we have done nothing but bonus streams for this game. But look forward to, I guess, a guide on possibly on Wednesday or the Wednesday after. On Twitch specifically. On YouTube, it'll take longer. Who knows? YouTube, it's going to be backed up so much by the uh, vlog of videos. It'll get out there eventually. Hopefully, hit 171. Nice. Poor Gertabulu is so dead. Let's take this opportunity to swap items. The disrespectful, let me pause and not bother fighting you because you're already dead. Bit combo. How am I out of inventory space? I'll drop a aid material? I mean, I, I kind of want the mine material more. But anyway, for people that want it, it's there. Let me also check the grinders real quick. Sorry, team. Try grinder. Uh, Goodbye, defense material. Any grinders more than this? That's it. We're buying Hellcleave a Heaven Striker. I'm gonna see that 30 hit a Heaven Striker, whatever they want for it. We'll get it for Hellcleave. There are a surprisingly high number of songs in this game. We're only on 32 out of 85. Ooh, I got yellowed. I do not want to hit the yellow ones. Is there anything else for me to fight? Okay, team hit an orange one. Good. The reason why we want to avoid yellow is that essentially the color that you use to defeat the enemy, tail, I guess that's the best way to put it, will give you additional seconds. So unless the boss is like literally right next to you when you pop the yellow, more often than not, that just ends up being a waste of time. So it'll be targetable, then it'll wake up, slap you, and then you have to do the whole thing again. Or you hit a just orange and red and it's basically free. It's a no rare boss. I, I guess I'm okay. I mean, red idea would be preferable if it's Conjuru. Some bosses I actually don't want it to be Conjuru, which I find hilarious. Like, uh, I think the best example is green ID, where I want Galatine. I don't really want Centurion ability. So I feel like it will get some proper trolling at some point on those IDs. I'm gonna dimate so that way I can walk further away from this boss. I'm going to choose to heal here. Or I'm gonna choose to take it in the face, apparently. So yeah, I heal for a thousand, so I literally heal more than what Murphy has. <laughs> Her MST is kinda silly. So at this point, I'm just gonna heal myself. Murphy can just Rebarda. There's not much the boss can do to stop him at this point. I'll try not to desync Murphy. And you can see because he's invincible, he's able to punish when it's resetting there, where I'm not able to. Perfect. So I think this will be GG to the boss. Well done, team. I want to get it by laser so bad. Please hit me while you die. Now you can kill the boss. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, it's still invincible. I mean, I might as well donate. It Did it somehow not go to its next phase? Why hasn't it taken damage yet? Or is team just missing? I'm confused. Oh no. Oh, Murphy's evade must be low. 
Rip evade. Yeah, if your evade is low, it will not do enough damage. Also, if your synchro is zero, um, <laughs> the damage will not be very high. I know mine's at 120, and her evade's actually pretty good. But some characters, they have just trash evade. Quest clear. No rares of interest. I'll take the money. 77 sync? Ah. Uh, it's decent. It's recovering slowly from episode 2. <laughs> Yeah, I'm at like 892 evade. Alright, so we're gonna hand in this quest. I'm gonna go ahead and make an episode 2 game for people that want to see how to use the tickets. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a little bit. Otherwise, I'll forget to do this. Actually, let's not put a password. Let's get rid of these tickets. Away for whoever is joining. Sort my inventory, then I can put stuff back later. Hmm. We'll give Hellcleave a moment or two if he wants to join in. I do think I need to get rid of these tickets though. I feel like I might be at max again, to be honest with you. She normally accumulates like bazillions of them. Go for it. So in the shop menu, there's something called MA4 Venue. I don't, like, it's to the deepest blue. Listen, just look for the hyphens. It's the only quest with hyphens. That's how I will always remember it. I don't care what the title is. So you see the hyphens, then you go through this yellow door. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't have enough space for these items. Alright. Baited again by the camera angle. So what I can do is... I can Ryuker. So that way I can reach the shop. So I'm definitely going to need to put away some items. So there's a little console here. You just spam confirm and let RNG decide. And if you don't feel like going that way, the warp is up. So let me put these away so I can hold more items. Because it's probably going to give me materials. So I should probably make room for them. We're ending essentially at 99 photon drops at 96 of NX. Disgusting. That is the power of the grind. So anyway, I'm gonna take somebody's warp, which is probably closer than mine. Pretty much. Let's see, how many tickets do I have? 120? Okay. That's not as bad as I thought it was. I was thinking it was gonna be like 200. So I'm glad we caught it here before it got worse. Got a try grinder. So again, if I need grinders, which I do need for S rank weapons, this is how I usually get a handful. More grinders. So just keep spamming it until you're out of tickets. My grinder. Nothing but grinders, apparently. Come on, give me a second place. I think I, I, think I want some 200,000, please. Nope. Oops, all grinders. Well, on the plus side, I do need these. Power material, okay. I might not burn all of them, but I figure these should at least go on stream. So the position of the firework will basically tell you what prize you got. So I got the 200,000 Meseta, which is huge. So if team is wondering where I get my money, box runs, hitting in episode 4 tickets. <laughs> in that order. I don't bother selling most junk items. So let's whittle this down a little more for future. So I could tell by the way it went to the left, it's either 4th or 5th place. Got another power material. Should be another second place, I think. Yeah. Ooh, so I, I have to go back because I actually kept money. 
The downside is if you get another 200,000, it will not give you the overflow amount. So if I'm 10,000 from cap, I only get 10,000. Let's just deposit 800,000 in the bank right now. Nice. So basically went up 400,000 from doing that quest a few times as a group. And we'll burn a few more. And then I think we'll end with a nice little TTF. I'm not going to use all of them, but I do want to at least make sure it's not that close to 100. My material is always nice to get. Another power material, which is perfect. I don't super care about TP material, but it can drop for third place, I believe. Left means fifth or fourth, which is fine. So again, I now have a hilarious number of grinders, which is good. Because I also have a couple common weapons I probably want to upgrade. Since I'm looking to get things like Red Handgun or Slicers upgraded. Maybe a Spread Needle or two. Another fifth. So we'll do two more, and then we'll move on. That way, at least if I do a big grind session in the future, I don't need to think about it. Kind of hoping for one more second place, but we'll see what happens. Probably a fifth. Oh, that's fourth. Never mind. Firework size also helps tell. Another four. Oh, that's a fifth. Yeah, if I see it, if the first one is centered, that's second place, I think. Oh, it's third place. They share the graphic, I guess. First place, I believe, is middle, right, left. So it'll be three fireworks if I hit grand prize. I doubt I'll get it, though. So another second or third place. HP material. I don't think HP material should honestly be third. Should be uh, that high rated. It's kind of silly to me. So anyway, basically from that alone, I'm up 6 power, 3 mine, 1 defense, 2 HP. And uh, we have 10 mono grinders now. So I think I might actually cap what I could put in the bank. I feel like I wasn't that far off from capping. Check real quick. 90 mono grinders, 93 mined. Yeah. So we're getting to the point where, in theory, I could level another force to get rid of these. And I have a ton of other materials from the runs today. So I guess I'll switch to... Sky ID Hue Cast. And that'll end the runs for today. Hope you enjoy the final little bit of Easter on your own. But I am definitely way too hungry to continue. Okay. Let's quit out so we can swap in. So yeah, basically every character got some playtime, I think. Except for... No, I think everybody did. Except for the, except for the humor, which is... <laughs> whatever, it's hilarious. But Viridia got some time in the sun. I don't know on stream if she did. She got like a couple TTF runs. Rawcast went to 180. Hughcast slowly getting to 150. More importantly, he got that shield upgrade. So he feels so much better to do a run of TTF with comparatively. Maybe for chat we'll do two TTFs. Let, let's do that. We'll do two TTFs for chat for sitting through the shopping. And that is definitely it after that. He should be pretty close to leveling after that. Just looking to see if he had any eggs. So I actually can't put away these PDs. So that's a bit awkward. <laughs> this is usually where I go, I'll leave, it's time to trade. A couple of these. I don't think Red Handgun is maxed. 
This will help on my solo adventures later. Wait, what is the max of red handgun? For my mo come to bargain, something like that. Well, on the plus side, I can get rid of some of the grinders. So some of the stuff I found now is going to be used for hunts later. Yeah, red handgun takes a plus 50. That's a pretty significant amount. So yeah, there should be a small, small damage increase versus falls. No, just a casual another 40 something to the weapon. Just 350 on my A fist. That's a good idea. So yeah, so now my falls weapon at least will do more. I'm already one shotting the spinners, but one shotting them even more is satisfying. Alright chat, build more PD now. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be playing the deleted enemy game. I think everything else is maxed. I don't recall if best red blades can get an upgrade. I don't usually attack with them. Oh, that's right. I don't technically need to drain my HP here. That doesn't really matter if I take damage. I'm gonna leave the room. And I'm gonna do... Ooh! 1200 damage, apparently. Goodbye. Oh, I was curious if he could kill without a special there. Anyway, let's catch up to the team. I had fun messing around. So as we learned last time, we should actually kill Deldi's the Sky ID. So I'm going to try to remember to do that here. They do drop something of interest. I believe it's Lava Cannon. So Psycho Wand from the Sorcerer, Deldi's have that. Most of the other enemies don't really matter. If I want to dupe an enemy, it's purely because of the fact that uh, I'm looking for PDs or event eggs. Yeah, I could have done more RBR, but nah, I think I need a break. Let's go for big damage here. Yum. <laughs> These vices don't care about the the HP of the dragon. Yeah, I'm not really dark flowing, so if you accidentally heal me, it does not matter at all. Yeah, being at 1409 ATP is quite something. And I might as well just dupe these. Again, I don't think they drop anything interesting. It's just free kills. I'm going to take my free kills. Then I'll probably kill the lilies. Oh yeah, I think I should do lily check. I think that's what we learned last time. I think I should at least mill lily check with sky ID. Regular lilies don't matter. So I'll make sure that these spawn. What a character. That was just an absolute deletion. <laughs> yeah, might as well skill the dragons. I got nothing better to do. Somebody might run around by me. I want to kill these real quick. One moment. <laughs> Come on, give me something good. Aw, really? Nothing? I'll let Murphy teleport. Unfortunate. I was hoping that would give event eggs or PDs for somebody. Uh oh. 
we lost we lost Hell Cleave. The materials were too good to give up. I'm gonna do this to dodge, and then I think I'm just gonna Jaya this thing's brains out. Yeah. Oof. Oh, you knocked me down. What a jerk. He's so lucky, chat. He's so lucky. I did like four and a half thousand to him, but I think that's because only three plates were broken and I broke the other two with the other swing. So I think the next swing would have been for well over six thousand. Wow, they completely demolished each other. That was kind of nice. I think Sinnoh Reds also give something of interest. Regular Sinnohs do not, so we can we can skip those. Nice cleanup. I like the cleanup there. Marco at a whopping 146. I was going to say, wasn't Marco like 130-ish when we first saw him? The power of episode 4 and grinding with the team. Get a couple of spare kills here. Might as well as. <clears throat> I'll let you do that. Nice cleanup, nice cleanup. Just make sure to start running now. Ooh, I almost killed him in one button. That was really close. Alright. So I think Barans are also worth killing straight up, so I'm gonna kill them regardless here. I think these drop Sincestas. I was trying to learn Sky ID drops. We had our first ever Sky ID TTF on stream. I literally don't think I've ever done it before with this character, or if I did, I wasn't the host. So it's like... Okay, so I'm gonna slow it down with Red Handgun, but I sadly don't have a Twin Blaze for this character. I would gladly sacrifice PDs to help leave if we could find another one. Possibly two, honestly. They'll go to the great PD gods for a tribute. Ooh, nice stun lock. Nice stun lock. There we go. I'm gonna let the lightning go. Uh, so I think I want to use Discover Brave Man on this thing. I'll slow it down slightly for the team next time it goes by. Oh, never mind. Okay, good recovery. Yeah, Gazan stunning is a bit more inconsistent than in the spread needle. If it works, it goes faster. I'm doing so much damage. Oh my god. All oh, the sacrifice damage. Deleted. There we go. You've been freed from the cage. Uh, I should take that dummy. Bonk. That's the only reason I have the Black King set. Black King bars is the bonk enemies. I'll go this way on the boss. Did you try to cage me? It's rude. I'm just having fun opening boxes. Why do they gotta ruin my fun? Here comes the DPS. Oh, you guys are absolutely being murdered by me. Get out of here. So I can kill them in one combo if I sacrifice. I'm gonna play it a little safe because I know there's Deldies and I will kill these Deldies. Make no mistake, they're getting deleted. Then I just need to make sure to not be there for the I don't think we care about the 
four C's. We'll call them the four C's. <laughs> I, I don't think they have anything of interest. It's something dumb. It's it's not spread needle or anything interesting. I'll put it that way. I wish it was. Alright, so I got red handgun to just kind of boop the boss here. Man, can you imagine if the Huka Seal was allowed to have 1400 ATP? She'd be like one of the best characters, hands down. She'd have the accuracy of basically of a ranger, but the ATP of a hunter. Which I think is their intent, but she ended up being under humor, which is kind of sad. Actually, now that I think about it, is she actually weaker than the Rawcast? Rawcast is, uh, 1350. I think she's only 1300. Yeah, why did they do that, by the way? That doesn't make any sense. Aim, please. <laughs> I'm just, like, thinking about the numbers for the first time in a while. Man, they did the Yuka Seal dirty. He's got more ATP, more ATA. And has guns. And he has more HP. Are we sure he's not the hunter? Chat, the system is rigged. <laughs> it's just that. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't think about that before in comparison. That's stupid. Yeah, where where is her missing 100 ATP? Her ATA is fine. It's it's already pretty good. But where's her missing 100 ATP? Like 100 defense. Where's that at, chat? Oh, I forgot to hit the charge ray gun again. Rip. Oh well. It's vice time. Oh, slightly too slow. Almost killed it. Oh, team's getting party wiped. En embrace Murphy's buffs. I'll just fall over repeatedly. Assert dominance. Wait, level 27 shifter. Oh, maybe because of the swap of items. That makes sense. <laughs> the 178 more evade. So stupid. Come on. And near me again? That's close enough. Good enough, though. That character actually got robbed, just like the Fomoral. Where's the Fomoral's MST? Why does she have the least? Why did? Why does she have the least MST in the game? Her forces. I'm still mad. She has bonus stats. Just so give her like 150 more MST. She should have had more than Fonuman, or barely less than Fonuman. Highway robbery. Yeah, that was quick. We'll do one more. Use star atomizers to fix this thing. Synchro. Mono fluid. Oh, falls. I don't need that. I guess I'll go back and get the. Gotta make a trade, go without me. Oh no, Hulk Cleave's going in deep. Well, we have an open slot for the final TTF then. Let me go get Charge Ray Gun. I should have one. Yeah, I have one with Dark Percentage, more importantly. Although, honestly, the base damage of Red Hand Gun is good enough. But I guess the accuracy will make a difference. 291, wow, that is really accurate. So I have better red handguns, but this one will do for now. I have one that I th swear is like 20 hit and then like 20 machine, which would make it better than the charge ray gun, unless I'm landing the special consistently. Final game of Easter, final game of the stream. Yeah, maybe this actually isn't worth it, because it is a pretty big ATP difference. 
I'm not missing normal. I'm maybe like normal, normal heavying, but like. It also is 35% dark. Which given that it's like a 400 damage gun, that's not... That, that's... I think that kind of makes up for not heavying the second time. And the crits are phenomenal, of course. Because it's like literally like 418 more than the gun. I guess I could try it. Or 300 more. Or no, actually only 200. That's not as bad. Like 210 ish. But still, with the, with the adjusted ATP, it's more like another 100 on top of that. Okay. So, final call for anybody that wants to hop in. Otherwise, we're going to get started. TTF is one of those quests where I will two-man TTF, so I'm not I'm not heartbroken either way. But we'll give Chad a moment to decide. Chad, what would what would you say if if they added another? You see how there's like room for other trap types? What if they allowed you to use heal traps? How would you feel that would impact the balance of the game? So, like, they potentially revive people if you pop them. Where they do, like, the monomates worth of healing. Alright, let's continue. That'd be amazing if you purposely die to an attack, but you heal trap yourself back to life. <laughs> you, you just get through all the boss's insta-kill nonsense. Regen would be better than just heal. Because I think the heal trap, as it works now, technically revives people, I think. It would be hilarious if it revived. come in here to clear. He needs ATP in here. I can't mess around in a three-man team. I had to be somewhat serious. Goodbye. Will I get trolled? Yep, I got trolled. Where's my invincibility chat? So sad. Kind of neat if they had like an electric trap that caused the shock status ailment. Shut down mines even harder, Chad. Tri-fluence, boo, boring. I don't need tri-fluids in this run, especially not as a cast. Let's see. What woefully stupid slime will try to fight me today? Any rare slimes? Nope. Joke's on you, Volmer. If you get too close, you die to my own fire traps. GG.
This character is something else. I still haven't even seen their true damage potential yet. That's what's disgusting. Like, I'm not at max ATP. I'm using... Well, I guess I'm using an A Beast Disco on them. That slightly pumps damage. Actually killed them with only heavies. So dumb. The team can stick together there, potentially get a kill. One, two, three. If slow mo actually worked on enemies, that would have been kind of neat. Instead of it being a verse mode only thing. Hmm, nothing of interest in there. The other Volmer spawn. GG to that Volmer. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna hard carry with Jaya damage here. Nice, I got invincibility, so I can't be interrupted. Here comes the big damage. Look at that damage. Uh. Goodbye, your health bar. Goodbye. <laughs> be gone. <laughs> Alright, chat. He cast is gonna carry the damage on the shoulders. It's fine. I just need the Shifta, the Zalors. We're all good. Hmm. Okay, get some rest WTF. Welcome, Tiggy. Hope you're doing well, Tiggy. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I lost sight of where my vice was briefly. Looking at chat. That was unfortunate. Then you fail. Tired, but okay. Well, there's not much left to the event, right? Does it end at 7 our time, Tiggy? EST? Or does it end 8? I honestly don't recall. When the time zones shift, I lose track. I don't play enough to remember. 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm not playing that late. <laughs> Tiggy loves the continuous stream. Then we'll be doing Phoenix later, Tiggy. But I will, I will take like an hour break before Phoenix. Oh, this Sinnoh Red is so dead. Goodbye. Well, good luck to you, Tiggy. I think I got some things I wanted out of the event. I mean, I got a red ring. I did not get a Parasitic Gene Flow, which was kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie. Oh my man, I'm just gonna kill you real quick. No Sincestas. Kill you. <laughs> We're gonna clear the way for Murphy. Goodbye. Yeah, I got an off-stream red ring. So I, I that that's good. I got more gear. I leveled basically all my main characters to 180. Yeah, I know, like, Antares Convoy slash Chris definitely wants a Twin Blaze, so I will probably give him A1 if you can only give one, otherwise I'll keep one on this character. This character is kind of a monster. Alright, uh, so he's got the Stunlock, I'm not gonna bother touching it anymore. Ooh, I didn't see the other turret. That's unfortunate. That is kind of the downside when it spawns on the other end of the arena. I don't really know what you do as a hunter for that. Unless I have like an LNK combat or something crazy. Nice. Good job. To get another river ring so I can say ahead of you. I, I honestly lost track of how many I have. I want to say it's either seven or eight. I just don't remember if one of my forces have it, or if it was one of the ones I was sharing. I was so worried it was targeting me for a second. 
I was like, please don't. Up. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I have nine. I think maybe eight. I have four reserved for the first four. I have two, I think, of my forces and two of my other characters. So I think I'm at eight. Unless I have another red ring that I forgot that's on my Viridian Phonumen. In which case, I have nine, actually. I take that back. I have eight or nine. I haven't used him in so long. I feel like I probably... I feel like I probably don't, so I'm more likely of eight. What was that damage? Yeah, I got myself mostly covered, so I'm pretty happy. At this point, this is like the only character I'd consider giving it to. I'm not sure if I'd make another Hue cast or not. Like, they're good. But like, do I want to do runs with them over Rawcast? Like, if my choice were between those two characters? I don't know. Well... There are so many songs on this soundtrack. What I'm really lacking is V101. Hmm, I have like six or seven. I think the thing is, like, I just ran so much green ID and Viridian that I just have them all. I got them roughly every red ring I got, I roughly got a V101. I think I've only gotten one in episode four. Almost literally all of them were from TTF, no joke. Just grinding out those two IDs over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, sadly Parasitic Gene Flow has proven to be more temperamental. I still have a spare one in my bank, if I really want to give it to the Hue cast. But I think I'm going to save it for either a strong, really strong Restless Lion one, or wait till I get like a high hit one, because it's, I think accurate, he might end up getting the 60 accuracy one. Maybe my Hugh Casile will get a 50-50 one, so she gets better boosts from it. Uh... Oops. Auto aim, please. <laughs> Murphy took them all down with them, I saw it. I make a medi dark meteor, nice. He's like, if I get knocked down, then I can heal. Or if he's got the plan. Think about it, this boss, by the way. So much damage. Back to being my mag, says Dango. Nice, nice. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if the group really, really wants to do more PSO, we'll talk about it after the event. I usually take a big PSO break. Just because PSO tends to be, like, so event-heavy, especially in the last part of the year, that it's like, I don't know if I would have the same enthusiasm to do Halloween event if I'm literally still doing, like, three months of PSO. Ooh, I committed to the damage and somebody rewarded me. Thank you, whoever got that kill. I missed it by like 300 or so. But I did decide to sacrifice special, which is very risky when the laser is coming down. I probably could have died from that. Oh, I was lucky there. I could have also died from that. I'm going very greedy, apparently. So we're gonna hover the vice, see what the boss does. Ooh, big mistake for the boss. Ooh, goodbye. Ooh, fireball, fireball! Do it, do it for us! Yeah, kill it with foe. Kill it with the force. <laughs> Bowie OP. Bowie for the win. Never doubt Bowie ever again. There we go. Where if he's like, I'm not even gonna look at the boss. Like we're we're like putting our hands up, like because the, like the flaming corpse of balls is there. Or if he's like, yeah, whatever. 
Just another 10,000 XP to me. GG. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, not too far from leveling this character. New cast is fun, but it's like... Do I really want to go through and try to get another 45 hit Jaya, decent brave man, 650 hit vice? My Black King bar is terrible. It's like the answer's not really. So I'm happy to have like one really well geared Hugh cast. I'm not sure if I feel that way with the raw cast or not. I suppose if I end up with like a lot of spare cannon rouges, it doesn't matter. But I think between that and Heaven Striker, I tend not to get those items very frequently. Way. Oh, I have room for PDs. We'll do one last look at how much we earned in this event, roughly. So I'm gonna say roughly 96 eggs. There's some other characters that are holding them. Over 99 photon drops. Two crystals, I think. Yeah, that's pretty good. One add slot. Almost cap mine material again from zero. And yeah, we've been building grinders enough to upgrade a mediocre red handgun. But I've been using it on falls, so I think it's fine. I ideally want one with machine percentage. But if it had machine percentage hit in dark, I would be very happy actually. Zelda has found the Gino 1975. Nice. Any 50 hitters in here? Not really. You need the Metello Ghost Line Command? You gotta tell me what line is supposed to be said. I have it on recording. I can even pause it. Hold on, where is it at? Although I think I have like more than that recorded. <laughs> We're gonna open the file live. Give me a second. Where is it? Because I just hit record when I went in the other place. Uh... Aren't there recent projects? Yeah, let's... It's like somewhere in here. Is this where they start talking? No, no, no. Where that point? <laughs> it's here somewhere, I promise. We'll do a live chat. Well, there's big silence. Maybe it's here. <laughs> no, that's when she gets turned into the thing. Where's Matello's line? <laughs> the I'm see-through is very special. Is this his line? That's so dumb. That that voice line is something else. Hopefully Chad heard that. I have to slowly I have to amplify it slightly before it becomes a sound clip. But it's in there. <laughs> oh yeah, it might not be playing back to the right thing. That's unfortunate if it did. Let's see, is there a way I can play it back so Chad can hear it? It would be what is Chad hearing? Main audio? This is playing to which audio? Alright, let me do this one. It's me, Matelo, the supernatural enthusiast. I have fulfilled a dream of mine. I'm a ghost. But now that I've tried it out, I think I'll go home. There you go. That time I think chat heard it because the switch which audio it was on. Otherwise I'll feel sad. There we go. There's the LOL. <laughs> that voice line is so terrible. <laughs> oh man, the I'm a ghost. <laughs> you could just do exclamation mark ghost. Yeah, I could probably clip it off. <laughs> it's all too good. Maybe I can have a rare... I wonder how easy it is to make it have, like, a rare chance of being the full Metello clip versus just I'm a ghost. 
It just arbitrarily pays, plays one of them. But anyway, welcome to Mattello. His voice lines are so dumb. But we do have Charlotte speaking in ghost voice as well. That that whole scene got recorded without the background audio. So it's there. It just needs to be made into something. So probably after Phoenix, I'll, I'll look into making a command. I don't know if it'll be ready for Sunday because we'll probably literally go from stream to stream to stream to stream. But probably by Tuesday, it'll be there. But anyway, chat, I think that's all for PSO. We have nothing else really to say for Easter. We already talked a little bit of how we feel the session went, but not too many crazy drops, but mostly just a lot of XP for people's alts or people that are newer to the game. So I think that'll help towards your own grinds. Enjoy the final hour of the event. I think I will not continue. We've gone on for how long today? Almost literally nine hours. Let's take a little break, chat. <laughs> I, think, I think I'm going to go get some food. So with that chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to the Easter, and uh, we'll say hello to my future self as I have to go upload all these videos. This is going to be very interesting. Uh, but for now, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully see you again when we do another PSO video.